some point. <laughs> yes, the, the 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 history of elves in Dragon Age is 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 really it's one of the most interesting parts of the system. Um, it's why uh, what you may call it, um, Inquisition is so focused on those elements in in Ole uh, and the various spoiler stuff that I can't talk about because we're live on stream. Um, but but the, the the various spoiler stuff at the end, particularly in the DLC and stuff that's so focused on elves, really interesting. I, I really hope they don't fuck up Dragon Age Four. Um, Fallen Order was good. Fallen Order yes, was good. They can do good yes, games. I it's possible. I played, the, I played Fallen Order and it was surprisingly good. I, yeah, I really so... enjoyed the story and how the uh, the control and all that. And it leave the ending leave uh, open for a sequel, maybe. Oh, cool. That's nice. I what see. do you say, you newly it. appointed Grey Warden? <laughs> will you fight the dark spawn i mean of course he will in the name of the king spoiler of the first to, game you have to drink some of the dark spawn blood yes. to become a great warden don't you yeah. and there's and a there's 50 a chance, chance of yeah. you just like dying yeah. out of spot as well yep yep it's super 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 sus and inquisition goes into it further because it's just not a like they do it because it's like it was a method that they developed because it was better than some alternatives at the time, but it is a yeah. super sus method and there's so many problems with it and inevitably but problems the happen. problem, we, we can yeah, see but more we, we have to ask her, Matt, if you had the chance, would you drink Dark Spawn blood? Yes. Yeah, so. mm. Is there a blight? Currently, yes. Then I would I would consider it. I don't. I I would consider it considerably more than if there was peace. If it was peacetime. If it was peacetime, then hell no. Um, <laughs> if, if 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 there was a blight and they're like the the it, it, so it, we're assuming a lot about the Dragon Age universe at this point. Um, if in the Dragon Age universe I was uh you know uh had. Uh, a bit of a brain and whilst i'm not particularly suited to physical tasks may maybe i have some skills that the gray wardens need never know i might even be a bard <laughs> there's there's a subclass in origins <laughs> um uh, not a combat focused bard for sure but yeah if if the gray Wardens actually needed me i yeah i'd consider it because the the abilities that the gray wardens get are very useful for helping like sort of save people's lives and so forth and at that point like the the blight is sort of like a miniature end of the world so um, well, when is our game when it's not a blight? To be fair, uh, well, why would you have a game without a going without the conflict going on? It just seems <laughs> some people really like games about political intrigue. It's true. Uh, I, I know. I'm just make, I'm more I mean, there was saying that, like, why would they make that game if they could make this game? Because people will think it's more exciting. There was a bit of political intrigue and in inquisition, just not mine. Yeah. Exactly, but you never know. Some they might just make an offshoot game where it's literally just political intrigue. Where I would totally be down for that. I mean, and backstab everyone. That that, that was uh, that was something that um, it looked like four might end up being after all of the the intrigue sections in Inquisition did so well. But I, I... anyway, this is good. Meanwhile, I've been playing Baldur's Gate. Oh. I got it on Switch, and it's weird to. I've been getting. Uh, it's been helping me get over my. Okay, so since 5e is completely focused on Forgotten Realms, I do, and I get annoyed when people try to think that that's the canon of D&D and, like you, sure, and sure, you can't sure. deviate from yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. So I've just kind of developed a knee-jerk reaction against anything involving Forgotten Realms, and Baldur's Gate has kind of been interesting to get used to, because, like, okay, this is... It's like, I can I get used to this. It's just, like, I need to get over my biases from... The, from <laughs> Idiots. I, I mean, I don't, I, of 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 all of your of all of your biases, um, Adam. I think uh, uh, I pr probably agree with that one more than most because it definitely frustrates me as well. And a lot of Forgotten Realms is very generic, sort of. Uh, I don't like it. I but, always joke about calling it forgettable realms. Yeah, absolutely. But Baldur's Gate is great, so I'm, I'm glad. Yeah. You're, I'm glad you're enjoying the game. Also, I got um, a freaking god roll on my paladin. Like my god, 97 total roll. Yeah, that that those nice. rolls looked amazing. Um, okay. Last thing before we go, before we actually play some Pathfinder. <laughs> yeah. Um. Uh. Have you seen that there's a Baldur's Gate three coming out? 
Yeah. I have seen that. <laughs> yeah. um, I'm gonna wait for reviews and stuff. Oh yeah, also, sure. I have to finish the first two. It, I'm it on could, uh, Dragon could, Spear. It could turn out to be another Sword Coast Legends, but unlike Sword Coast Legends, they've got Larian Studios, the Divinity people doing it. So, oh, probably, that's a good sign. That's a really good it sign. Should be. Yeah, I know, right? It might even be turn based. Um, so and give the GM option. I, I mean, I'm I'm gonna play it. <laughs> oh, I'm def- I I might actually buy a Switch just to get that. To be fair, that that seems legit. It's a good 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 sort of budget way of getting. Also, Baldur's Gate on on the Switch it's pretty good. You only get like five saves and one auto save and a chapter save for each of the like expansion things that you play through. But like, so it's hard to have like multiple playthroughs going at once sure. in it. I but mean, like it's still like yeah but the reason why i haven't bought a switch just yet is because it's currently still going down in price and by the time january hits around it's gonna be great mm-hmm. but no pathfinder game. yeah <laughs> uh find so... some pad oh look one over there uh yeah, so just before we uh, before we sort of uh, crack on with the playing, um, with regards to rules, at least for the moment, I'm not going to do anything more dramatic than, in it, than implement this system. Um, just for you guys, uh, just so you know, um, you guys have all got three hero points now. Um, you get one per level and per part of the adventure. You can also get them for, like, significantly heroic acts, but we're talking, like you would die otherwise sort of heroic acts uh, rather than anything else um uh, two of the functions i'd sort of like draw you to um one of them uh you can you can never have more than three um but one of the functions is called cheat death uh, and what that lets you do is it lets you spend two hero points to survive not necessarily like intact but survive um like an effect that would like kill you outright um, so that might might help us with regards to like um, losing more characters and so forth. If you save the hero points for that, uh, if you don't want to save the hero points for that, that's okay. Uh, the other one is uh, you can use the hero point to uh, re-roll a saving throw uh, that you failed. So, um, like I say, hopefully that will give you a little bit more agency with regards to effects where like the, 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 the F hound. Sorry, where there's, are there's we? A bit more leeway. Um, I don't know if there's a place on the sheet explicitly for it let me just have a look at the <laughs> like in maybe the gear because then we can put our own thing but then it's in our uh... or in your future in trade huh? yeah uh, yeah you could do um uh you could do features and traits honestly um hmm. i mean i'd be tempted to track them on tokens uh, if, oh, yeah, that, if, yeah, if people be. remember to like sort of reduce them, uh, actually, that might not be a bad idea. That way you can have <clears throat> that way you can have a bar, and that way uh, that will remind yeah. me to um, <coughs> give you yes. them as well. Um, and to decide which one you want to kill. <laughs> oh right, I remembered something I wanted to show uh, uh, Chris. Uh, okay, well, like with it, the way that he reloads, uh, I think a good. Like, if, when I eventually finish this commission I'm working on, which I'm on the coloring stage and trying to figure out what's outside, so I'm close, and I do your... And I, uh, and I probably will draw your character. That was awesome. I have awesome. a few ideas for the gun now. I, honestly, I'll, I'll just link it to you, and you can take a look at it whenever. Awesome. <laughs> you know, it's funny, because during this, this game, uh, you'll have a different reference. Because something will happen today. Okay, so... That I will. Let's do that. Um, welcome back, folks, to Rise of the Rune Lords. Kicks desk. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. Screen just fall over. No, no, it's fine. I fixed it. I fixed it last week, so I can kick it now, and it doesn't do anything. I'm just just uh, your foot. Uh, well, yeah, that, and I'm just, I'm just always a little worried when I ki- when I kick desks uh, in case they uh, in case they break. Um, but yeah, no. Um. Welcome back to Rise of the Rune Lords. Last week, um, you guys uh, had a bad day. Um, it was, yeah. you know, uh, you you had already won a victory here, um, but unfortunately, um, it's what was known as a bummer session. It, it well, <laughs> it it uh, it certainly ended up being a bad day for your characters, or the ba- a bad beginning of the day for your characters. Um, alas. <laughs> 
<laughs> so, uh, someone's so uh, Ven Faith in chat just said you had a bad day. Mp3, and now I've got that fucking song in my head. <laughs> yes, <that's right. laughs> you yeah. had a bad day. Do 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 do. Plays piano. Um, <laughs> but yeah, no. Um, you did have a bad day. Unfortunately, one of your number fell in battle with uh, the Lamash to spawn, the Yeth Hounds, and Ruthasmus the Ranger. Um, uh, and uh, you were driven out of Thistletop, uh, removing the bridge behind you uh, and sort of struggling struggling to deal uh, with what had happened. Um, oh, in... so they cut the bridge, yeah? You did, yeah. Ameko did, after you guys mm -hmm. got across. Um... <laughs> in the immediate aftermath of that, that, as well as reeling from those losses, Arat literally said, Well, peace out! Uh, jumped on Goblin Salva and, and literally just rode off into the sunset. There was but a sunset momentarily. Sorry, but we were keeping Goblin Nope, Sombra. it's my horse! <laughs> <laughs> Bye! Walk all the way back. I'm keeping the treasure as well! Zoom! <sighs> Oh, such a dick. <laughs> I still have, like, one of my fireworks. Can I show- can I fire that after? No, nope, I'm gone! Bye! He's gone. Yeah. <coughs> That's the wrong voice. Holy crap. My voice decided to die He's there. Gone. It's okay! Um... It's okay. There you yeah. go. Oh, God. <laughs> but yeah, no, he just- he just went like a ninja. Like a Ronin. What's Morning Moon doing here? No, Morning Moon's not here. <laughs> um... <laughs> I, I, into into the thistle woods, forever alone. A rat? No, no. A, a rat may return. Uh, maybe. Um, Eddie, uh, I don't know if you're gonna if you even have time to watch this, but if you are watching, congrats. I um I hope everything's yeah. going okay. Do do let Yay, us Yay, baby. <laughs> baby! But so I'm, it ended up be a great father. It ended up that you had lost not one. But two of your companions. One of them left, and one of them dead. The rest of you are in the Thistlewood. Um, uh, Dracun? No, sorry. I've got to, I can't call you that. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I'm Darren. Oh, no, like it's, gosh. It's Darren. Always a good, it's a good habit to get into, just kind of separate someone's character. From some from the person, like not call them by the character's oh, name unless it, it's in it character. Absolutely is, but uh, in in my particular case, my problem is that um, uh, I some people uh, want to be called their real names on screen. Some people don't want to be called their real names. No, on yeah, screen. I don't mind. Um, I'm glad you don't, um, but uh, uh, I have to try it. There's a lot of names I have to juggle, so sorry about that. Um, ah, okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> uh, but I'm so glad we've all figured out each other's names and. Uh... Yeah. In, uh, in uh, Tuesday game, because that's all we call each other, right, pretty much. Uh, so, Derek, I've just moved your token to where you are in the Thistlewood at the moment, so okay. just bear that in mind. Um, so, the rest of you, you are near the bridge. The bridge has collapsed. Um, you are in the aftermath of, of the conversations that you had uh, at the end of last week. Arat has left, uh, and you are all still, I imagine, somewhat reeling from what just happened happened and wounded some of you are also so wounded um uh you can uh to allow the group to RP sure if, if you want bit. to start moving slowly you can um uh, we're likewise, not gonna can. look up to evil to overgrowth and be like as she's trying to walk she's slow-mo could i have a little help <laughs> okay, okay. Luthel would, uh, would, like, go. I can learn to un What, what do you need? What, what, how, how do I help? Like, is, like, not sure, like, whether you want, like, him to pick you up and carry you, or just, like, <laughs> <laughs> what? Pretty much, uh, she, she's just sort of like, um, may I ride on your shoulders? Sure. Uh, and he would uh, pick her up. All right. All right. Uh, do I have to make any kind of check? No. Yeah, 
He's tiny. <laughs> like you're 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 not super strong, Lutel, but but not is do, not doesn't weigh very much. So. If anything, her bags weigh more. Yeah, I, I think they legit, legitimately might. <laughs> um. So yeah, you um put put not on your shoulders, Lutel. Thank you, Lutel. <sighs> Kaladin, um, as you sigh, looking back, give me a perception check. Oh, yeah. natural one. You're, you're a bit, wow, uh, you have a really high natural one. Quite, yeah, it's quite, 12. Quite reasonably, you're a bit distracted by various things right now. Uh... If you look at Kaladin, guys, he he is visibly upset. Like, probably you've never seen him upset. You've always seen him scowl. He just seems kind of we've seen him annoyed, hopeless. I like he looks kind of hopeless. I think it's best if we head back home. We did all we could here. I guess at this point, it's uh, well. Kaladin is going to be the first one to hear it, but he's going to hear behind him like someone in armor just running, and Kaladin will just add the time to look back before mm -hmm. uh, facing uh, someone and strange armor and clothing. As, he, turned, uh, he turned around, even with a natural one perception. He hears clink, 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 clink. And, like, I'll put an image pulls in his, Yeah. Uh, pulls, his, <clears throat> pulls his gun out. Objection! Can't have a character prettier than mine. <laughs> uh, it's going to be a bit hard. Huh? O overruled? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, if you want to put the picture of the armor the and I'm the doing. armor, yes. Uh, but yeah, the the uh, the character that's running around the corner looks like that, and the armor will be in Discord chat. And in streams as well. Oh wow! Yeah. Um, and um, and well, when looking at this person. It's, it's clear. Well, Kaladin is the one that see it mostly. His eyes and air are gold, like literally gold, and he doesn't seem to to mind Kaladin gun, but he's going to look past his shoulder, look at the Mako, and he's going to uh, directly put a knee down and uh, making a fist with one of his hand and placing it into the palm of his other end as uh, as a kind of a salutation and Lutel, he's going to go forward with something happening uh, Lutel, <laughs> would, going... uh, we'll probably catch up at this point <laughs> and he's going me closer to... I wish to hit them with my sword oh and I don't have going... control over that token anymore and he's going to say uh, something and the same tongue that the group would have heard uh, Emiko's father used to talk with her and he's going to 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 say um uh, lady uh, kajitsu upon arriving to the dock i made my way here as fast as possible after a fellow named gavin shared is worried about uh, your situation so I imagine you're like out of breath Yes. Not looks at Emeko and she kind of stares down because she's like, no, really tall. She's looking down at this guy. Is like, she. I hope that he is not a four because then I would have to put down the norm. <sighs> no. Cool. Put me down anyway, Lutel. Uh, and I do it. Just kind of like. Tries to um, gently drop you, but he's also very tired. Omeko. She's tiny. She's ill. But she stands in front of Omeko. Omeko um, is 
staring at Derek's character with a conflicted look on her face. Is it possible mm -hmm. I can do a sense mm -hmm. motive? Absolutely. One, two. Yep, we can hear you, Derek. Okay, weird. My my screen just I had a slight uh I heard a beep sound that sounded like Yeah, that's my battery. Oh uh, because my screen just flashed off. I had a slight uh Oh okay. Oh god. Oh no. <laughs> Two natural ones in a row, so I guess yeah, yeah. that's actually guy. Uh, yeah, um uh, it is not. Not only is it difficult to tell what Omeko is thinking right now. Um, not. Oh yeah, carry sheet. Um, the the effects of what you are going through are making it hard for you to focus on anything. Like her 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 face is sort of blurring as as if in a dream, somewhat. Um, and uh, there he goes. L Lutel, um, Omeko. Again, it's difficult to tell what she's thinking um, to the point that actually I think I'm going to roll a bluff. Check. Mine is more aimed at this newcomer. Okay, well. And for... Um, oh, she beat you by one anyway, so... And for... Now uh, has his hand casually over the hilt of his sword. It's like, not like... Not like threateningly, but just kind of like I will draw if I if I have to, but right now we're talking kind of thing. Yeah, with regards to that reaction... Hang on, Dark. Um... Mm -hmm. Kaladin, are you pointing your gun at this guy? Yeah. Yeah, I thought you might be. Okay. Bear that in mind, guys. <laughs> uh, carry on, Derek. Yeah. Uh, the man would still be on, on one of his knees at the same uh, posture that was in, like uh, a fist in one of his uh, palm of the other hand. Uh, his head a bit down. And so going... It's a good thing I watched Seven Samurai yesterday. Mm. <laughs> and, <laughs> and he's going to say and comment to uh, Kaladin he's going to say uh, my name is Senshi uh, Kuroda I am a samurai from uh, the sun goddess of uh, of uh, Ten Ming uh, Shizuran Empress of Heaven hmm I would like to do a history slash some kind of knowledge check, please. I'm going to make some kind of knowledge check to know if I know what the hell he just said, because <laughs> you probably have no yeah. idea. We probably have no idea what a samurai is. So, actually, um, you can give me uh, a, a anyone who wants, anyone who has ranks in these skills can give me any number of these checks. Can I do a knowledge and ability? You got so. You can give me a knowledge and ability check, or you can give me a knowledge religion check, Nope. and you can give me a knowledge history check. The only one I can make is history okay. or uh, religion. Okay. So I guess I will make try to roll them. And just one of them. Or... Nut is and, like and you can, you I can know all... everything. If, 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 <laughs> wow, roll a nineteen. Any of the skills that you have ranks in, you can make any of those checks. Um, if you I have ranks in well. all knowledge. Nice. It's great. Hashtag wizard. Um, <laughs> okay. 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 Um, hmm. All right. So Lutel, uh, you got no idea what a samurai is. Um, cries in sleep. Uh, <laughs> not um in this universe. Um, it might be better to do the other two before me because I got like the most out of them. Sure, sure. Um, so Kaladin, um, you have very vaguely heard of Shizuru. Um, uh, like, you have heard the name and the, the fact that she is Just a foreign, uh, well, uh, I think, I think the time that you might have, uh, if you've ever discussed religion or heard any of the people in Magnamar, when you came through Magnamar discussing religion, um, mm -hmm. you, you may have heard them discussing Shizuru at the same time as discussing other sun gods. Um, uh, so you would know that she is a foreign goddess of the sun um, <laughs> from the continent that uh, Ameko hails from. Uh, you, you know very little about her other than that. She is not a god that's really 
uh, worship. Sun equals one. bad to me, so. I mean, that too, um, but she, she's also. Oh, you've been watching The Unexpected <laughs> She's not a she's <laughs> she's not a god that that, that uh, is worshipped on this continent, almost mm-hmm. at all. There there are a couple of places that worship her, but but very few. Um, Lutel, um, uh, with the history check. Uh, can I do? Can I have it? My check be more of like sizing him. Can I do a check to like size him up, just more or less like, like not necessarily based on my prior knowledge, but just based on his like how he carries himself, how he how he is is armed and all that stuff. See, like if I can figure out. Oh sure. Um. Okay. Just like what his deal is probably. Okay. That. That's... And if he is a threat. Either a. That's probably a sense motive check. You can you can use this sense motive that you got the twenty two you got on him if you want to. Sort yep. of looking looking between the two. Of them. Sure. Okay. So, um, I mean, uh, as as to whether or not he's a threat. Um, uh, mm, no, his posture is uh, more like kind of uh, submissive. I mean, he's not some. Sim- uh, uh, not really submissive, but more like, yeah, like and waiting, Subordinate? yeah, kinda towards uh, a Mako, and he is kind of awaiting order or uh, something to that is asked of him to do, and he's kind of a, a tall fellow of six foot three. But his posture is more like a warrior, but also a kind of a, a priest somehow. And so and so I get the the fact. So I more get the sense that you're like a man of of like noble sort of noble warrior sort of thing that like somehow has loyalty to a Mako. Yes. Also worth noting, if you're like six three, you're like uh, half a half a foot taller than my character, who is five eight, but he does wear like an about eh, a bit around an inch of heel. Okay. Um, well, uh, so that answers that question. Um, with regards to the the three knowledge checks, uh, not um, with a nobility check, you're aware of what a samurai. is is um Ameko has told tales of them in the bar uh previously uh from, from her country i think it's only been me that she's confided about her history about as well isn't yeah it? so well um yes and no she she's confided in you like some of the personal details but she she doesn't make any sort of se- uh, secret of the fact that she is a, a kaijutsu and that she she comes from a different continent um like she she frequently sort of tells like um legends and so forth in the bar uh sometimes sings them um about her home country um so uh, but 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 the personal sort of aspects of it yeah she she's i don't think she's confided those in anybody else um so you you know that at least in this universe um uh there are multiple nations uh that are ruled by samurai uh who are uh warriors that are similar to a cavalier in the setting that they're particularly associated with like in with the real world the honor sworn service and the art of war um they have uh the sort of japanese thing of being sort of many of them are landless nobles um uh, uh some of them are masterless as well ronin um but uh uh they they, they are considered to sort of be they're an analog to avistan's knights um in this world uh, rather than in the real world where they were a bit more complicated than that um so you know about samurai uh you've heard of them um with a religion check like kaladin um uh, you have you have enough scholarly knowledge that you would you would know the word you would know that the goddess he's talking about is a foreign sun goddess um you wouldn't know very much more than that uh Again, not not a god that's especially worshipped. And Mako doesn't either, so she hasn't really talked about that goddess specifically um, okay. in anything other than passing. Um, with a history check, um, did you say which country you were from? 
Uh, he's f- he, uh, from. Uh... Yeah, well, he has not said it out loud. When, 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 sorry, uh, what, what, what exactly sort of details did you say in that that sentence again? Uh, that the um, he he simply said that uh, to Kaladin that he's uh, he was a samurai of uh, Shizuru, who is a uh, Tang Ming, goddess of the sun. You tell at this point would uh, be like standing next to Kaladin and just kind of like put a hand on his. Uh, so, sorry, timing. Yeah. Oh, so, would you that. allow me to ask a question with the knowledge I have? Uh, uh yeah. The, the history. Yeah, of course. Um, sorry. Would. I have heard or learned about the Kaijitsu family owning any samurai. Because she said that she was a princess. So. Uh. So. Sorry. Say, um, say, Basically, say I'm asking is if Nut will be able to reason that this guy is under the Kaijitsu family because of him being a samurai. Uh, yeah, it's it, it's entirely possible. Um, also, that... that's what he said. Yeah, but it's it's more of a do, does it does it seem like. It's an own thing, or is it? Is it a? Is it like he's been told where she is, and so therefore has come to save him, or is it a on a bound thing? He has to be with her right now. Um, uh, given the samurai, I guess the latter. I That's think, why I'm asking. Yeah, so so I think with your knowledge check, um, I think, I think the answer I, I'd say is, um, it is certainly possible that he is on a bound to be. To be with a maker right now, like the, there, you would have heard of samurai because you've heard of them before, and you can roll good on history check. You would have read about and heard of samurai in myth and legend that, that have sworn oaths and so forth, and then travelled across like entire continents to sort of fulfil those oaths, um, uh, to to sort of be at their lord's or lady's side um, to sort of defend them to death. There's even a particular sort of group of samurai in this world known as the Yojimbo uh, that are literally. Um, the their their bodyguards in a very literal sense. They literally throw themselves in front of uh, people uh, to sort of. The term is your Jimbo. I'm probably mispronouncing all of these terms. I'm, I'm very very sorry. So am I. But uh, all right. Yeah. So what Nut's going to do is looking back at a maker. She's gonna. Oh boy, this is gonna be. Uh, Callum pulls away his gun and he just like. Ugh, what the... Angry yeah. and then walks, walks back here. So, I'm gonna uh, use the restroom real quick. Sure. Sure, sure no problem. You're so, a bit late. We were just leaving. A maker finally speaks and just says, Get up. Friend of yours? No. no. He's going to well, uh, st- stand up and readjust uh, the katana that he has on his belt and the longer one on his back. I have no idea who you are, sir, but like my friend says, you're a bit late and I've cut myself off from the old world. My father is the person you should have spoken to, but you're a bit late for that too because he's died quite recently. So you'll excuse me if I don't greet you in the proper old-fashioned custom. Understandable. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I'm just imagining just... like him immediately committing seppuku and having to roll another. <laughs> <laughs> That's uh, not not a thing that he would do. Uh, uh, simply as <laughs> hilarious, my... like a, just say, just gotcha. This is my new character. <clears throat> by your family in the east to take in news from. You and your father. My family in the east have made it very clear, she says as she's walking past you, that they are not my family, and I do not know why you are here. Well, 
I was asked from a fellow named Gavin to check up on you and... Right, yes, um, she stops. Yes, I suppose Gavin sent you. Well, um, uh, we've, uh, I, I, I'm sure he meant well. We're going, though, so you're... Looks at the others. I, we're going to be going back to the town. I suspect you're going to follow me, so... Unless you want me to stay here. You are your own person, and I do not control you, so you are free to do whatever you wish. There's a slight chuckle from Nut there. Mako looks irritated. <laughs> Hmm. Uh, he's going to look at the other member of the party and he's going to bow a bit in a politic manner and he's going to say sorry if my oh, my arrival was a bit stressful obviously Nut kind of looks up to Lutau would you mind? of course we're to get get her back up on his shoulders. We should... Let's just go home and let's ignore this samurai. I think I prefer bullfighters anyway. Uh, it... <laughs> in character, Senshi can roll a sense motive check. Obviously, out of character, Derek knows this already. Okay. Mm. Um. You get the feeling that they're giving you the cold shoulder for another reason other than a Mako, like, sort of having a bad reaction to you appearing, but you're not sure what mm. it is. You get a feeling it's bad timings and yeah, more than like that bad part, attitude. That, yeah. that's, uh, that one is a bit uh, logical. Uh, after when Ameko said that he was a bit late, uh, he does feel a bit... well... Yeah, there was definitely, even with a 13, there's definitely an accusatory, there was definitely like an accusatory tone in her voice. Yeah. It was very much a, if you were going to arrive, goddammit, why couldn't you have arrived earlier sort of thing. Yeah, but it, it, would, it would feel a bit shameful, that's a bit logical. And he's going to, to well, turn around and start to follow Mako, but uh, giving her a bit of space is in, uh, with her, uh, well, the state that she she is in at the moment. Sure. She, she's just striding out of the Thistlewood. Like, yeah. she, she'll, she'll wait for Lutel and Nut and Kaladin to catch up, but, but like, okay. other than that, she's just striding out of the Thistlewood, intent on going back to town. Kaladin, yeah. you said you needed to talk, um... When we get back to a town, how about we buy some drinks and find a nice quiet corner? Although I have a feeling someone's going to be trying to find me immediately the moment we get back into town. I have a very similar feeling. I'd rather not have him see me like this. Yes, let's let's go. Kind of walks past this. You're human, correct? Mm, I could. It does, uh, okay. Um, so does he look human? He he looks relatively human, but um, and so this this will um this is a weird this is a weird effect. So just just bear in mind, yeah. I guess what what it what it feels like. It doesn't necessarily have any influence on how you treat the person, but but just bear in mind when you guys walk near Senshi, um, uh, he. Uh, there is a almost a, an injection of emotion uh, into you. Um, you you feel more courageous, or almost in, inherently, um, uh, as if like his. In, the, in I guess in the uh, I guess in the same way that very subtle it's the very subtle sort of way that very very confident people sort of project uh, a sort of. Um, almost an unconscious feeling that everything is sort of gonna be okay um, near them um, but for, for Kaladin like uh, particularly um, hang on where is it uh, when you're within sort of 10 feet of him 
and this is kind of a bad feeling for Kaladin, but a good feeling for most people, um, you feel as if the sunlight is sort of caressing you and keeping you warm. Uh, Can I do an arcana check? You can do a religion check, for sure. I, I can do that again. <laughs> that's, a, that's a big old 11. Yeah, so Kaladin, you're not sure why you're feeling these feelings, but it's a bit uncomfortable. Um, I don't he gets ahead of it, Yeah, uh, not... <laughs> <laughs> not... Um, oh, this shit. Uh, there are... You, you know of... Uh, particularly sort of passionate and determined warriors and priests that exist, um, that their passion and their faith in their in their beliefs and credo and so forth can can actually manifest itself like as a uh, an almost psychic or divine depending on your perspective on things sort of aura about them um it's as if like their soul is almost too big and it's sort of bursting out of them a little bit um and that that can sort of um affect people usually in a positive way um near to them um uh, father xantus is a good example of a person who has a very subtle version of this like he doesn't he doesn't have the effect that that senshi has uh that would sort of affect your emotions but um as a divine priest of a certain power um he has an almost unmistakable feeling of just being a good person when you're near him um um is this enough to put into Nut's head that he may be an Azamar? Uh, actually, uh, so a Azamar don't explicitly have that sort of ability. Um, they do tend to look at Celestial, but they don't. They don't tend to sort of like have that that sort of aura. Um, it would I think imply that he is a divine spellcaster of some variety. Um, of, but a, at a, the of same a sufficient time... power that he can sort of project an aura or is unconsciously projecting an aura. But at the same time, when you look at him and he the and when he well, he feel less shameful and look back up, you can see uh, his eyes are goldish and slightly glowing, with his hair being of uh, bright gold. Not going That's to be. That's probably a giveaway. <laughs> yeah. So, it's a super saiyan. So, <laughs> super saiyan. This, is, this is enough for me to realize that he is an Azuma. Uh, yes. Nut's going to lean down a little bit towards. Him. He's a god spawn. Uh, as you say that, Ameko blinks, realizing it herself. Looks back at Senshi and then glares at him like in a very sort of angry fashion and then walks after Kaladin. <laughs> sense motive! You don't need a sense motive to know that she's just realized that he's an Azamar and you guys just killed an Azamar that is responsible yeah. for most of these problems, so. Senshi, was it? Mm, it's, yes. this way, it's this way, right? To get out. She, you notice, like, Nut is, like, still completely black and white, and as, like, Lutel's carrying him on. The bump that it would be, it's actually still slow motion through her. It's quite well, weird. Well, uh, you, well, Nut won't need a sense motive, but. Uh... Uh, it's clearly and Senshi eyes that when seeing her like this is worried and kind of uh, feel feel he, he does feel bad that if he would have arrived earlier maybe that her state wouldn't have happened your god spawn. Mm, I am. I won't apologize but, but... for oh. Ameko, nor will I apologize for us either. We just had to deal with a god spawn that has gone down the wrong path. The, we might be touched by the god, but not all of us are perfect. What goes down to the good path. Oh, 
party member who has fallen. Do not blame, but we will. And she just sort of like looks away from him. I don't she blame. She will talk over him because she can't stop herself from being slow. I don't blame <laughs> your. Well, how you will act with me. I will understand the pain that you're feeling. So, Ameko, why does he glow with that light? <laughs> yes. He doesn't, he doesn't yes. understand. That, she, she, she mutters that to you, and then you sort of like ask the question. Um, she just shakes her head and fucking sun blooded. Wow, some racism over there. <laughs> uh, you you do get the feeling that she wouldn't normally say that, Kaladin. Like she she is in a very bad mood because you, because for very good reason. Like she just <laughs> this is this is minutes after Dracon has has like yeah. been left to die, guys. <laughs> uh, Sacrifice to his god. Oh, nope, I didn't say anything. Mm. <laughs> no, it's a joke. It's a joke. Please don't. Take you don't know what Kaladin did. What's that, Imahotep? Kill them all? Uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what is that, Sexron? <laughs> you want me to set them all on fire tonight? Oh, no. Yes. <laughs> so, you guys reach the entrance of the Thistle. Bay. Sorry, what was that? Adam just wanted to be a part of this joke? <laughs> <laughs> Gotta get yourself a Demon Lord patron, man. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. So, um, you guys leave the Thistlewood. Um, head back into the hinterlands. As you do so, um, not roll me a d hundred, please. Ah, oh, why couldn't I have twenty-seven my last d hundred roll? That would have been great. <laughs> Um, as you do so, it begins to very lightly rain. You must gather your party before venturing forth. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, this again. character's One. death. This, this threat of prophecy is sad. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, no. You gathered your party. No, no threat of prophecy is necessary. Um, to make your way back through the wood, you will need to give me some survival checks. So, someone. Um, yeah, well, uh. I essentials. don't remember, but I think I'm shit at that. Yes, I am. He's going <laughs> you, you to take will... a compass out of his uh, bag. Yeah. Okay. Uh, well, uh, as you're taking the compass out of the bag, the rest of the party are probably forging forwards. Um... Can I make the roll anyway to see if oh, I yeah. ac accidentally like, like I get hit in the face with a branch or something? I mean, any of you can make a sense. Please don't, because like I'm on your shoulders. <laughs> please roll number nine. Please roll nine, me. Please roll nine. <laughs> Damn it. Okay. So. Um... Sanchi, you've got a compass so you know which way is north and south. Makes sense. And so Three Chessman has the highest uh, range. Right, but the, pr the problem with navigating uh, with compass in, in a wood like this is. Um, is there is a lot of curve and thing like that. Well, the, the, as I've, I've, I've heard it put in a lot of books before, and something that both you and Lutel are, are encountering is that there's a whole lot of geography uh, in, the, in the way of good mapping. Um, and uh, th th there is a whole lot of geography in the Nettlewood, um, particularly nettles. Um, so uh, the both of you stumble into patches of nettles at various instances. Um, not. Uh, oh, Stan, I'm on your shoulders. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I know. So you're not stepping in them. So <laughs> the partial... are nettles the same thing as burrs? Uh, um, not. No, quite. burrs are actually come off of a plant. Nettles are sort of like a stinging plant that generally ah. grow up to about waist height. They're, they're a pain so, in yeah, the ass. Yeah, you have nothing to worry asleep. about. I thought you said furries. <laughs> I was I like, not what? <laughs> you, yes, you step in. You step in furries. Yes. That oh just, no. That's what happens. Um, <laughs> I was like, I, I like double taked. I was like, excuse me. Not, like, not <laughs> doesn't I didn't because nuts uh, on Lutel's shoulders. Um, not uh, uh, unfortunately, a thing you realize is you're sort of like um, realizing that Lutel doesn't know where the hell he's going is. Dracun was the person who guided you guys through the Nettlewood, originally. Um, that will do her best. She's slow, and occasionally when there's times to turn, it will take her a moment before she's like, oh wait, we need to go that way. 
which is part of the reason that sometimes you stumble into the nettle patches. Um, but um, with a 20, um, not, you are able to slowly guide the party out of the nettle wood back to the Thistle River. Uh, once you find the river, it's easy enough. It takes you four Random hours, Random question. Yeah. Random answer. Because of the bleaching, it's it's the thing that actually ties the names to the first world. Yes. Does she feel a bit more weird inside the wood? Because um... if she's connected to the wild a little bit more because of the bleaching, etc. Uh, I think... Or is that only after, like, she survives the whole process? Um, I mean, I, I think it's personal to every gnome. Um, like, uh, h how soon you sort of feel those effects. So, if you think that this is the point where you would start feeling those effects, then you're more than welcome to. Um, the, the, the nettle wood isn't whilst it is a forest and it's it's a fairly old forest um uh i i wouldn't say that it's particularly specifically connected to the first world or like one of the there are forests in verizia that are like primeval forests that were here since the first world may or may not have touched this plane um this isn't one of them though this is one of this is sort of relatively speaking this is a newer forest so if you are sort of feeling those effects i feel like you'd be feeling them like almost echoes or, or glimmers of feeling as opposed to like strong uh sort of senses fair enough but yeah no like uh yeah it's a it's, it's a place of the wild so um she won't say anything because she knows that people are worried about her already uh, you guys uh, eventually, after four hours or so, get back to the road, um, which means by the time you get back to the road, it's about midday, um, uh, because uh, you guys rested and then went into Thistletop again, and now now it's roughly midday um, on the next day. Um, the rain doesn't let up. Um, it's not so bad in the Nettlewood, because you have the tree canopy. Um, it's a fairly thick, sort of gnarly tree canopy. Um, when you get out onto the road, though, it's that sort of thin, slow, drizzling, mizzling rain um, that is sort of just making everything damp. I forgot I have no more gunpowder for normal bullets mm. at the moment. Well, at least it doesn't get damp now. Yeah. Um, so, uh, it's been a while, so correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't think you wanted people to wait with the horses here, right? No, we told walk. him to leave after a couple of hours, just right. in case. That's right, yeah. So, so he, uh, when you when you get back to sort of where you had tied your horses previously when you got here the first time, um, he has, uh, the, the horses are gone. Uh, there is a message on a piece of bark, just sort of like, sort of carved into a piece of bark, um, uh, just indicating that um, they've gone back to town. Uh, and hoping that you find the message uh, and that if you don't come back in three days they're going to send search parties um, <laughs> so it's probably probably a good thing that you're coming back now um, uh, but yeah so you're, you're, you're sort of standing near, near the Thistle, thistle uh, River um, are you heading back into town along the road? I think we decided that we were, weren't we? yep, that's what we're going to do okay uh, Sanji is going to well speak up and is going to say, "Do you want me to take the lead?" <sighs> sure, you can take the lead if you want. You're welcome Thank to you. walk I mean... wherever you want. <laughs> if that happens hmm. to be in front of us, then she shrugs. Hmm. Sanji is going to, well, move forward and take the lead as he's going to, well, make his way the word standpoint. As he's going to keep an eye out in case of a goblin. Okay. Um, not tries to 
wave down a maker to come closer to her. And... I'll roll a bounce check. <laughs> <laughs> she she uh she is uh t t it takes you a moment or two to sort of catch her catch her sort of attention. Um, she she's sort of staring off into the middle distance as she's walking, not really particularly paying attention to anything. Um, but uh, yeah, she she will sort of walk over to you and Lutel. Nut's going to talk quietly, so at some she probably wouldn't hear her. But currently she's slow, so I don't know how that's going to help. <laughs> I think with the the rain too, it's a bit hard to to hear. Yeah. 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 Uh, it's uh, it'd be um, DC fifteen with a minus four penalty for anybody sort of listening into a whispered conversation. So you'll, you'll you can roll the check if you want to, but it's just. Uh, but yeah, go ahead. Amico, the it's a samurai. This is is this what you meant by you possibly were a princess? Is 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 he attached to? Your Wait a minute, she's on my family? head. Yeah. Yes, she's on your head. <laughs> You're like... So you can, you, am I like you, a you carrying guy now? You can no, it's just more like uh, she's trying She's trying to be quiet and have a conversation when like, she's less than a foot away from my ears. I, I don't, yeah, think, yeah, I don't yeah. think she's trying to keep you out of the conversation, though. All right. <laughs> it, I'm only trying to keep Sanchi out of the conversation, to be fair. Um. So, uh, Ameko, uh, when you say that, looks even more irritated if that's possibly possible um and says i i'm so uh i uh, i am distantly connected to a royal line but i'm not a princess i'm just a mako and i father had mentioned that he was in contact with more of the people from the old country and that maybe he was going to be doing some business with them sometime soon. Um, I know that he'd mentioned various contracts. He was very excited about and wanted to bring me into them. Um, maybe, maybe that's how this man knows who I am and where I am. But I... Damn it, I'm... Why now? <laughs> so, I'm um, right. What, not, is it like a knight? Sure. Not goes to put a hand over towards a maker trying to like pat her shoulder a little bit. I'll roll another balance check. Well enough to do so now. Oh. She, she doesn't stop you, but it doesn't like seem to. She's just frowning and looking at Senshi's back. and. So I'm, I'm probably like 20 feet in front of you guys. And he's like. You know, when somebody offers you a free service, you usually take it. Says it. That is a surprisingly unparanoid view for you to take. Ah. There is being. Mm. There is. And she sort of says this very pointedly, <laughs> as if for everybody to hear, including the, the new arrival. Um, uh, there is being offered a service. And then there is having someone forced on you whom you are not even cognizant of that person's anything. Um, it, I would be like if uh, all of the secrets in your closet, Kaladin, uh, came tumbling out and, and then decided to attach themselves to you as a bodyguard. How would you like that? Ouch. Yes, that's what I thought. Omeko sort of strides off past Senshi, deliberately, sort of moving in front of you, um, uh, down the road, jogging if she needs to. <laughs> yeah, no, Senshi's not going oh, well, to try to uh, I know, pull her back. Oh, she's gone. <laughs> she's yeah. like, Rotella just kind of has that look on his face, like... No, like Senshi is yeah. just trying to kind of keep pace, but allowing her to, to breathe, like not being uh, like okay. right beside her, like if... allowing her some space. Okay. Right, I was gonna say. So, so, not will, as they walk, will basically enlighten Lutel on what a samurai is and what the hell's going on. So it's like a knight who swells filthy to some. Yes, but there's 
loyalty to bloodlines and you remember Lutal's um Emeko's father. Mm. Uh, you can understand why she's not exactly happy. <sighs> This is a memory that's literally walking out of her past. I... It is like when I was sad regarding Rat's fortune from some time ago now. Hmm. You thought would ponder a bit. He's gonna, uh, Calvin's gonna walk forward, and whenever he gets near Senshi, he's gonna be like, You feel like the sun. I'm Don't... sorry if my presence uh, makes you uncomfortable. It does. Would, but I hold can... on, real quick. Would Senshi know what a drow is? Probably well, not. I, I will need to do a roll for that. Uh, <clears throat> I, I mean, um, do you look like a drow at the moment? Or do you look like an elf, like disguise wise? I, I just look like Kaladin. So, okay. I, um, you could give me a, uh, a, a local or a nature roll, um, Senshi, if you've got either of those skills. No. Um, ebony, okay, ebony right. skin, white hair. He 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 looks like um, an ebony an eb an ebony skin colored elf, which is certainly a curiosity. Like um, you would never have seen another one, um, but uh, I don't think you know what a drow is. Very few people know what a drow is. Even a, a lot of elves don't know what a drow is. <laughs> But yeah, so um, uh, certainly a maker doesn't say much else on the on the journey um, back to town. Um, do you, do any of the rest of you say anything else to each other? Oh, it's a relatively short journey; it's like half an hour. <coughs> Lutel, <coughs> uh, hold on. Lutel is dying. Don't, 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 <laughs> don't choke, man. Yeah. Get a drink. Sorry. <laughs> Lutel would kind of like eventually like walk up like. Kind of a lot, like, like that. Just like casually walk up alongside uh, Sanchi is just like, what is your story here? Mm, what do you mean? Why you I have some connection here. to Ameko. Oh, like I said, I I am under the service of our family back in the east and was sent here to take news. I told you. She's so why you... shoulders. She kind of has to be part of the conversation. Yes. <laughs> so... so what exactly are your plans? Are you just going to be following her until she eventually gets sick of you and, and tries to run away, or is she? I mean, I can My... make her disappear. I'm... I wonder what will happen to you. I'm not here to take her back home. I was just here to take news, and after that, uh, well, I guess we're going back to the town and well, see what is what, and if I can help with well, the the situation you are Do in. Do you huh? even know what the situation is? No, but. I'm going to know with time if your if your oh, wish to oh, tell me about it. Huh? I have an idea. She is he wearing gloves right now? Like I uh, what like what kind of armor are you wearing? You're wearing like plate? Yeah, oh, is yeah, she wearing, wearing any kind of like covering on his hands? Well, he's if he wearing... would be. Well, he's wearing kind of the same uh, armor that uh, Mora was on Discord in Rise of the Boom Lord. So yeah, he <coughs> has kind of glove, but fingerless one. 
Alright, so Nat will pull out a pad of, like, fabric from one of her many... Do not touch this with your bare hands. And she puts it in front of him, like, dangling, almost. Why? Bell would raise an eyebrow. The moment you see it, you will understand. What is the fabric? Moreover. Or the, not? The, the fabric is just simple fabric. There's something inside of it. Yeah. And what is it? For I'm what gonna reason? See. I want to see how smart a god son will be. <sighs> I can be clueless like a lot of person. Just because I'm touched by the god doesn't mean I'm above you. Mm. He's going to take the fabric and slightly open it. Uh. Inside is the... I think it was the gold. We ha I have two of them now, so we have the silver one and the golden one. So I'll get him the silver amulet of Lamash too. Yeah. Hmm... I guess, uh, knowledge religion, then. Yep. Um, yeah, so Lamashtu is a goddess that's worshipped in your country as well. Um, and, uh, uh, you recognize the symbol as a, as a, as a symbol of the demon goddess. It's a, it's yeah, a he, fairly distinctive symbol. Um, yeah, he's going to close the fabric and wins at it. And it's clear in this phase that if he had the power to, he would destroy it. Don't worry, we're going to destroy it the moment we get back into the town. We're dealing with that. Then I might insist to be part of it. Huh? be part of the killing the destroying the amulet i mean if you want to be a part of killing the actual thing i mean you just gotta go back to the the the, the, the forest off you go bye she just sort of like looks forward he's going to end back the amulet because he doesn't want to, to keep it with him and she he, makes sure she makes sure to wrap it up very tightly before putting it back in her pocket. Sure. And Makes when sense. when when she take it back, essentially almost like like if he touch something really dirty and unclean, just wash his hand upon his armor. Okay. Can I do press digitation to soil his hands? Uh, you can, but he'd get a saving throw. <laughs> I'm going to do that. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll, Why? We'll, we'll save Because Senshi. it's not. That actually makes the question even more of a... Oh wait, you are in... A... We are in kind of a bad mood, so yeah. It's... So yeah, I'm going to use press digitation to soil your hand armor. Okay, um, Derek, you're allowed a saving throw if you want to. Uh, for, for, probably a fortitude save, actually, rather than a will save. I think that succeeds. Oh, dang it. Against a cantrip, unfortunately, yeah. Um, oh. uh, so, uh... Uh, again, you, so maybe interestingly, again, you get that sort of feeling that he's probably a divine spellcaster of some variety. Um, there's, uh, he definitely sort of like seems difficult to sort of affect with magic. Um, and again, because this literally only happened hours ago, um, he it probably reminds you of Dracon, um, as so sort of like when when he did actually resist your spells every now and then, um, he was sort of very difficult to sort of even afflict with magic. Not kind of frowns at him. Feels different resistance, but yeah. Um, but yeah. What sort of experience do you have? What, do, what is it that you do? You 
do your fighting? Do you? What do you do? I fight when it's necessary, but I try to find the most peaceful solution. Yes, but do you like, go look around for work and find find jobs, or do you just do whatever it is you're told by whoever it is you're working for? I mostly try to help everyone, but I mostly, if I'm called by my lord or my lady, I'm forced to answer, even if it displeases me. Uh, slightly ahead, still able to hear this conversation, uh, Ameko shakes her head in sort of irritated disbelief at this attitude, clearly disapproving. Come on, Ameko. Let's go get a drink and uh, hopefully <laughs> the alcohol would clear up anything. Maybe? Possibly? Who knows? I definitely would like some alcohol. Uh, as I've said before, she says, looking pointedly at Kaladin, Lutel, and Nott, you can drink at my bar for free. Yes, <laughs> let's go get a drink. Jeez. Oh my gosh, that's mean. Yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> she 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 has a mean look on her face when she says it. Um, well, well with is Senshi, Senshi doesn't seem to be quite bothered by it. It almost seems like not only here that... There is uh, some, uh, well, displeased with uh, what he is. Okay, so this is out of character. Uh, she goes on, sort of sticking her head up in the air, walking down the road. We should hold a wake for Dracun, and then we should get riotously drunk in honor of him. He's what he would have wanted, yes. I wonder if Corpus can get drunk. She holds out Corpus. Do you get drunk? Corpus nods eagerly. Yeah. <laughs> I'm actually like, get drunk. If Ferris can drink alcohol, one sec. I think they can, actually. Um. Um, <laughs> certainly, uh... Fine. I just need, like, 200 gold and I can bring him back from the dead. It's fine. <laughs> Cor Corpus, as a magical beast, has a surprisingly high alcohol tolerance for a fact. Huh. Apparently, uh, they like the taste of alcohol and will... And uh, we'll, and we'll drink it, but uh, it does, but it does uh, mess with their blood sugar a, a lot. I mean, it's fine. It's yeah. fine. It's a magical ferret. It's fine. Honestly, that that checks out. Uh, I had a mate who used to own ferrets, and he, every now and How then. How is Corpus dealing sure would kill with a cat, the? But... Random question. How is Corpus dealing with the random, or area of effect from Sunshi? He looks curious. <laughs> How's he dealing with Senshi in general? Uh, actually, um, he, he looks curious and um, when he looks curious and feels the effect, not there is a glimmer of the link you have a link with him, so there is a glimmer of curiosity that pours into you as well despite your state you sure that's how it works? I thought it was just like they you know the emotional stint, not necessarily share it a bit. We have a special connection, it's fine. I mean, I mean that, but but also um you have a it is literally an empathic link. You you feel what they're feeling. You don't just sort of like it's not like a text message that says they are afraid. It's you feel their fear. So All right. I, I Which think, is why I think... she got so bad with the fear effect. Yeah. Which is why I did a D one hundred rather like an, an a D ten or something. And, and and gnomes in general feel emotions a lot, but like in a very stronger, very strong way in comparison to most other races. Like it's a it's a thing. <laughs> but yeah, no, the empathic link means that um, if you feel a, a, a fear effect, it, it gets a bit amplified. But at the same time, if you, if, if one of you feels curious, then the other <clears throat> feels curious as well sometimes, or at least can do. All right. Today I learned that. Yeah. Familiars are interesting and fun. Um, but anyway, so um, you guys, uh, as you're uh, reaching the town after about four and a half hours, um, the rain is just I... about stopping. Go ahead. 
she's going to try and grab and make his attention. Um, what? Um, Titus is going to see me. And Mako stops and looks concerned for a second. Uh, looks worried for not, and says, "Well, um, if you don't want him to see him to see you immediately, how about we go in through the bottom half of town?" And uh, she rustles in her backpack, pulls out a hood and cloak. Put that on. We'll go into the bar as quick as we can. Yeah. Or you can uh, do what I'm not you know, doing and directly down, confront your you problem. Put on the cloak, I, guess. I feel like I need a drink before I do that. Let's just go straight to a bar. He's going to find out anyway. He might be at the bar. Well, speaking of that person, I think I heard his name being said by a man fairly large uh, with some tattoos and trying to keep him away from the bar. If he's drunk all the money I've given him, I swear to God I will kill him. Is it a bit over Jared? Uh... What is the word in common again? Over dramatic? Yes. I'm thank allowed you. to be over dramatic regarding my own father, thank you very much. Understandable. Let's go get a drink. Make her nods. Since she's going to uh, remove his helmet when they arrive in town, well. Maybe it's a bit of politeness, and is going to well, kind of keep eye contact away from people because he know that is well, what he is gonna attract attention, and at the moment the group doesn't need attention. <laughs> okay, so you, so you're taking your helmet off. Yes, sir. Okay. But I guess he's going to follow the group. Look, looks, looks in Dark Elf. <laughs> <laughs> Judging lyric like a... Uh, no, I think... <laughs> uh, you know, looks in Dark Elf sounds like a very specific feeling uh, and probably a very specific look. Um, I feel like it involves... You should like, make an email to Arvid. And, uh, and demons and uh, all sorts of horrible things. <laughs> Looks away, dark and oh, yeah, dark. Yeah. Uh, when 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 being uh, closer to Senshi, uh, I think not would have seen it first, but it would add have a similar ring that not as of protection. Fair enough. Ooh, he has a ring of protection. So, <laughs> um. You circle around, come towards the Sandpoint Bridge. Um, Sandpoint hasn't burnt down in your absence. You'll be pleased to know. Uh, nor, nor does it look like it has been attacked again by uh, goblins, uh, although it does appear to have been ravaged by butterflies, horses, hearts, and <laughs> roses. Um, truly, they are a, a graffiti terror uh, on the streets. Um... <laughs> I'm not sorry, mm. by the way. I know. Shakes head, <laughs> uh, but uh, no, it, it looks much the same as you left it. Honestly, um, uh, and you can see again as you're sort of coming up to the bridge that many of you came into town via um, on the first day that you arrived here uh, weeks ago. Um, the uh, the mirror, the sign, the motto: "Stop a moment to." See, uh, see yourself how we see you Sandpoint someone's changed the population figure to account for the casualties um but no um just kind of ask Littell to pause for a second in front of them. Littell does it am I really that bad I guess you could 
say You're the not same that bad. about me. Senshi would say as he look at himself too in a mirror. I guess we're all different in some way, but all similar since we all. Not kind of stares at him. You do realize what is going on with me, right? I do not. Nope. Uh, can I? I think that you would tell me when you found would it. Would it be a medicine oh. check or um, a heal check? It would be a local or a nature check to know, I do a local. To know about the nature of gnomes and the fey connection. 17. Mm, uh, y you've, you've heard that um, some gnomes can be afflicted by like a, a wasting disease of, of, of a variety um, uh, that can make them turn gray and die. But like mm. you, you don't know very much about it, and you don't know if the knowledge you have about it is particularly accurate. It's not really a thing that gnomes like discussing, because quite apart from anything else, it's something that can bring on the process. <laughs> um, if if they if they discuss it too much, except amongst their own kinds, there are there are actually um, canonically examples of um, gnomish characters that study the process and attempt to sort of cure it. Um, uh, in fact, there's one in the recent Pathfinder Kingmaker game that, do, that is doing so. Um, but uh, again, they, they, yeah, knowledge of it isn't particularly widespread. But yeah, it looks like maybe maybe not is undergoing some sort of gnomish process. Um, I guess uh, what little you had heard of it, Kaladin, would have, in a similar but different way, almost reminded you of how elves became drow. Um, but but like there there are similarities and differences between the two sort of events and processes and so forth. But um, and, and I have a, I have a very lack of knowledge skewed, about them. I have a very skewed like look at that, regardless. Yeah, right. The, the way we've become drow. Sure. But, um, but, but it would it would sort of like I, I'd imagine it would bring together bring bring up sort of associations in your mind. It would be best if I told you over a drink. I but like I was striding I... across the bridge. <laughs> yeah. I'm not a good drinker. Well, good. You will be. <clears throat> good. Get him some milk. <laughs> Get him some milk. Mm. He probably needs it. So. Um, uh, as you guys stride across the bridge, um, from inside the brewery, much like when you came here on the first day, um, of the Solitaire Festival, uh, Gavin, uh, looks out from inside the brewery, um, just get his art up again, where are you, there you are bro. Uh, sort of putting a barrel down, walking out as quickly as possible, like looking between, like nodding to Senshi, um, uh, which causes Mako to look irritated, and then looking between you, um, beginning uh, with an, sort of, he has an expectant look on his face, but when he's sort of like cast a glance off you very across you very briefly, it goes to from a like he he normally looks a bit dour, but now he looks extremely dour, and all he just says is, "Where's Dracun?" Yuthal just shakes his head. No, it doesn't even look his way. I mean, imagine you're looking that way now, that way now, that way. Since Yuthal is shaking his head. <laughs> um. She's not actually like on top of his head. You know how? I, I know. I I know. I know. I'm just making the joke. <laughs> Um, he's dead. Oh, shit. Okay, um... Couldn't have put that more bluntly, couldn't you? Gavin looks at Kaladin. Well, Kaladin, this is my home. Be nicer. Else I will put butterflies in your hair. <sighs> he's passed away. Gavin stares Kaladin in the face uh, as he's saying that, searching for a word of a lie. <laughs> Sees none. 
Damn. Just looks down. He's a high ass sense of attack. In the discs when we when we left. He died protecting the city. Of course he fucking did. <sighs> he turns around, walks back inside, closes the door. Pub. I'm All right. Sorry. I'm sorry, no, that's just how I am. I, I just thought, is there someone who we can see so to help you with the guy just gestures his hand and like waving at her like this? I will explain once I've had a drink. Alright. Shoulders are aching. And he keeps going. Um, I'm sorry. No, 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 he's fine. He's fine. Yes, and she is going to speak up, and and he, if uh, people look at him, it seems that uh, some emotion can affect him more, because with the news of uh, Dracoon's death to the man, uh, Senshi would have some tears almost falling out of his eyes. As you say, my welcome into your inn, Ameko, or am I not allowed to enter? It's a public house. I think she means it's your paying for your own way. Yep. Mm -hmm. oh. Well, I will be... Just a moment. I will be back. And uh, when... When we get into the pub, uh, Cowden, like, leaves. Okay. Ameko uh. strides up towards the bar. Um, it's relatively empty at this time, time of day. Um, in fact, uh, <coughs> uh, Ameko has to use the key. Uh, it looks like in her absence, um, Bathana has uh, shut up for lunch times, mostly because Ameko was the cook at lunch times, and Bathana can just about handle uh, running the place in the evenings, but to ask her to run the place at lunchtime as well was probably a bit much so um she's she shut it up so there's there's actually no one in the tavern aside from Bethana at this point um you can put me down here Littell I'll be out okay Littell would uh carefully put her down and stretch his shoulders a bit thank you Bethana sort of like um he's no issue as you walk in uh and as you're putting um not down cranes her neck round the door looking at Ma like taking one look at a mako and then looking at the rest of you doing the same counting look that you saw in gavin's eyes only a moment ago and honestly you probably get the feeling you're gonna see in a lot of folks faces when they see you as a group together for the next couple of days um and then she just walks around the bar and hugs a mako mako sort of stands there shuddering for a moment And that's going to sort of like come up towards a Mako and like let them have their hug, but like trying, trying to put a reassuring hand, like because she's tiny yeah. on the hip, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, uh, when Lutel is going to walk past Senshi, Senshi is going to well mutter to him, and he's going to say, uh, "Normally, I'm the one delivering." This, well, the news to people. For some reason, um, Chris has like access to Corpus. I don't. Oh, uh, it's because he. I was... do. Oh, really? Oh, that's weird. Give me a sec. Give me a sec. Uh, I don't even know where you are because I can't see anybody on the screen. Oh no, no I, I do now. Yeah. Uh, Adam. Adam had access, but Chris never Chris. had access to Corpus, so I don't know. It said Chris. So. Weird. That's weird. Well, anyway. I've never even moved. <laughs> it's yeah, def definitely doesn't Sorry work. if I haven't been moving my token. I am working on uh, drawing while I'm doing this. Yeah, that that, that is work. okay. We're not we're not in tactical combat or anything, so right. don't worry about it. Um, well, we're in ta tactical emotion at the moment. Yes. Social combat. <laughs> yeah. um, ah, but but uh, Ameko takes a sort of hand uh, uh, for a moment um, and then just sits down at the bar. Bathana walks back round, starts wordlessly pouring drinks.
we tell her to head up to the bar and uh, and I gesture for one. Uh, Calvin will be gone for about maybe an hour, maybe. Yeah. So, um, as so as he starts serving you the drinks, um, where where are you going? <laughs> uh, do you want me to pull you back to the map, the sampling map? Yes. Sure. Okay. Uh, I don't think it's enough to be secret, but uh, well, you can you can DM me <clears throat> if you want to. Yeah, to I, just, I just need to know where you're going. <laughs> okay, hold on. Um, okay, well, while you're doing that, yeah, so Bethana starts wordlessly pouring your drink. When you gesture to one Lutel, she pours you a Shadow Dark Ale, passes at you. Um, Nut does shots, drinks, and actually, like, points to Corpus, like, for him too, please. Pours Corpus a saucer, doesn't say anything. In fact, this is the, the, the most sort of um, agreeable Bethana has ever been <laughs> that you've, you've since you've known her. Um, I think the only other time, no, no, yeah, she she was less agreeable when when Omega's father died. Um, she's she just pours it, um, and then uh, w- once she's poured you all a drink, um, um, Mako and Bethana sort of share a look, and then Bethana walks off into the kitchen, um, closes the door, and uh, anyone who wants to can roll a perception check. Hmm. Mm. <coughs> yeah, bad cough today for some reason. Don't die. Uh, Senshi and Lutel can hear the sound of her blowing her nose and having a good cry. Mm. Yeah, Senshi's going to have uh, a bit more tears on uh, over the eyes. And then mutter something about blaming the onions. <laughs> In uh, a very halfling, sweary voice. Hmm. Uh, while you're doing the shots, uh, Ameko grabs one nut from you, raises it, looks at you all sort of fairly fiercely, and says, Drakun. And then Drakun. chucks it back. Drakun. Nut has no intention of slowing down and is pouring corpus drinks every time she has one. She's going full out. Does Corpus have enough uh, gumption to stop himself from, uh, you know? Uh, no, not really. <laughs> uh, Corpus is Corpus is downing them pretty pretty fast for his body weight as well. Um, uh, yeah, yeah. I suppose I did say uh, explain once I had a drink. She pats the seat next to her. So I would uh. Where do I sit down? Gnomes are you know, the fey kind of races. We come from what's called the first world. Magically speaking, it's, it's long time ago magic happened and gnomes appeared in this world. She kind of is fidgeting with her glass a bit, but she's she's talking without stopping, which is quite, for her being slow, it's a bit weird. We have connections to fey magic and wild areas and other sorts of crazy magical stuff but with us being part of the first world us coming back coming here uh, gnomes we're not supposed to really be here but we're we're um she starts a little bit we're not really attuned to this world and so when a gnome gets older, and she kind of looks away a bit there, we go through a process called bleaching. Everything on our person, except from the hat apparently, um, 
goes black and white and it's slowing me down it's causing my emotions to be unstable and as you can see even corpus is affected he's supposed to be brown he's black and white I came very close to dying because of bleaching. Fear is a big thing for me. I'm afraid of being underground for long than I have to be. I don't understand why. And she kind of knocks back another drink. Titus found me underground. Like this, actually. I don't remember how or why, but I'm afraid of being underground. And so everything that's just happened, it's caused, caused quite a bit. Holy mm. ship. It's, just kind of then got an air cut. It's a process that will more than likely kill me. But the way, as a maker said, the way I can fix this is being colourful, being excited, being this, that, the other. Which is why I started magicking in the first place. So, she kind of shrugs and drink, knocked back another one. Yeah, so Mako knocks back another one as well. Um, and uh, looks at you, uh, not clearly, uh, slightly under the influence of all the alcohol she's just knocked back. Uh, and just says very bluntly, you're not allowed to die. I mean... Nope. No dying. No free drinks if you die. Essentially, oh going, essentially is going to smirk a bit. Huh? She doesn't smirk. Mm. She looks very serious in that particularly drunken, emotional fashion that you can do. Oh, man. Don't thank me, just don't die. There's a slight hint of a smile there. And she raises a glass. I'm not going to die anytime soon. I'm drunk. Mako looks at you fairly intensely. Rolls bad sense motive. Good. Goes back to drinking. <laughs> yeah. What are we gonna do? So, as a maker saying that, um, Kaladin, actually, the process that you uh, have undergone to become a demonic harbinger, I mean, uh, to uh, do something, uh, has actually taken you a very short amount of time. Um, there are street barbers um, uh, who do very good work in Sandpoint, and because the day is sunny, they are out. Uh, you literally just had to go to the market, um, so uh, they... There wasn't a queue. Oh, man. You, you got the My uh, old uh, GM from when I was in high school would be remiss if I didn't say, you cut yourself shaving, roll them last table. Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You, you are, you are, that one's you, for you, Mr. You Myers. Are, you are dead and also also a demon now. Congrats. No, um, oh my goodness. Uh, but you, 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 you get the haircut in a very short period of time, um, which allows you to get back considerably earlier than an hour. Um, so as, as, a, as a maker is saying, um, uh, what should we call it? What are we going to do? That's the point where you walk in. Walk in with looks nothing like you did because I'm not dressed to <laughs> what, what What's that, Dritz? Oh man, <laughs> I love Dritz so much. Um, Wolfgar, no. <laughs> I'm trying to think what your new character at portrait reminds me of. It reminds me of something. Oh, anyway, so he. Uh... A Mako turns around, um, like looking at Kaladin, and the rest of you are as well. That's that's what you see. That's me. Kaladin, come get a drink with us. 
If she's already knocking in the what back. Wine, please. And Mako reaches over the bar, pulls out a bottle of wine, and slams it down next to her. It's my bar. I can do it. It's fine. Don't have any glasses, though. Just drink it from the bottle. Just give me it. She gestures and glares at you. Doesn't she feel out of place? Uh, so at this point, is also kind of... Uh... He's, he's just kind of like sipping his ale, just thinking. Probably, um... Uh, as she sort of looks at Kaladin, she remembers the scent she's there. And then she looks, looks looking at scent, she says, Right, uh, put your money on the counter, and what are you having as well? I... I, I I'm alright. No, no, don't give me any of that drinking water... Stupid warrior, honorable s bullshit. Drink yeah, something. Yeah, we're gonna make you drunk. Well, I don't suppose yeah. Right, drink. you're having wine. She grabs wine, puts a bottle in front of you as well. From the bottle, or you don't get to follow me around. Rule number one. Not go. Not going to get off her stool. Go around the bar and um, grab a random instrument and start playing it very badly. <laughs> and Mako you don't cringe at this. Nearly falls out of her chair laughing. Uh, probably saying, <laughs> You can't you play that at all! <laughs> what did I need my I'm guitar? doing a better job than you! That's you not true! I'm great at. What is this again? <laughs> I tell Wood I would choose himself to go to his room upstairs and grab his uh, guitar. Assuming he's still Where are there you and going? no one's looking. Get my guitar. Drinks. Yeah. Yeah. Gets more drinks. Climbs over the bar rather than going behind it. Starts pouring you drinks. And then climbs back over the bar, knocking several glasses off in the process. Nut sits on top of the bar. I yeah, will, I will normally play some some music, but no, uh, no, you yeah, don't have character. music Do playing they have, privileges like, yet. Seats for smaller races. Do they have what? Sorry, like would it be normal for them to have like booster seats in bars for like smaller races? Um, I don't think so. Child, uh, child <laughs> seats. Uh, I, th I think. Like, normally you wouldn't need booster seats at a bar, but no, in I, I know what you mean. Um, I, I <coughs> uh, it it depends on the settlements you're in. Um, in yeah. in small race predominant um uh, settlements, um, everything is sized for small people rather than sort of uh, medium sized people. Um, so in in those areas, people feel a bit cramped. In this settlement, uh. I, I think the way a Mako would have seen it, unless um, Nut or someone else, uh, one of the other small race individuals in the town, of which there are a few, uh, un unless you guys said something different to her, I think she would have thought that it would be sort of condescending to have, like, booster seats or whatever. So she probably just gives you the same glasses as everyone else and the same chairs as everybody else. And if you Yeah, Nut, help... Nut's happy to sit on the bar right now and she's just, like, grabbed a massive mug and is just going chug, chug, chug. Sure. I know in my settings, like places that have a, a lot of like smaller races, they have like you know you know how Dutch stores are, how it's like two halves of the door that open, but right. the bottom door has a, has the doorknob. <laughs> That's cool. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I reckon I reckon there are definitely places in Galarian that have sort of that sort of thing, like Absalom, for instance, um, uh, is is like and and um, uh, uh, Nex. Uh, the the city of Quantium, um, both of those uh, are like giant metropolis, cosmopolitan sort of places where every race, creed, philosophy is sort of like uh, very much melting pot sort of cities. Um, and those sorts of places would probably have that sort of thing because they've got a lot of um, small raced individuals. Um, in Sandpoint, I think the number of small raced individuals could be counted on one hand, though. So I suspect there isn't that sort of thing here. Might be in Magnamar. There are enclaves of halflings, like small communities of halflings in Magnamar. Um, so maybe some buildings have been sort of adjusted for them. I don't know. It's an interesting thought. Um, 
but either way yeah Omeko um doesn't <laughs> um and uh is just gets rapidly blitzed on her own product mm-hmm. um uh and uh, as she's getting rapidly blitzed, Littell, when you come back down with your guitar, once everybody's sort of here and she reaches a sort of stage of drunkenness that she felt, feels like she can to deal with it, she leans over the bar, sort of slack-like, holding a drink, pointing it at each of you um, uh, and saying, what are we going to do? Well, I don't know. And it's just so weird to see Calvin trying to do a Calvin in the wrong place. Right. Um, we what kind of drunk is Calvin? I like to imagine an angry drunk. Over Nefries and see if he wants to destroy that thing, because occasionally he does want to destroy things. Who? The god of magic! You don't know the god of magic. Your mom doesn't know the god of magic! <laughs> oh my my god. mom's dead! Uh, after right. after after she says that, she called and kind of drunkenly goes, "No, my mother is not dead." What? Good. Yes, she's oh. not dead. I guess we prepare. Um, that one stays silent for the worst. We probably should go. Uh, we should probably tell someone. I can't remember his name. Oh, we should tell the mayor. Yeah, that uh, dude. And the sheriff will be back in like a couple of days. Oh gosh, yeah. So <laughs> we need to tell boring. like the, the priest dude too. Big old Zamp boy. Yeah. <laughs> but he'll. Mm. He's gonna be so upset, especially if it was New Orleans. Oh gosh, we're gonna have to get him drunk too. He doesn't drink. He's like that guy. Oh boo! She <laughs> <a glass> towards <laughs> towards Enchi. This is like not even making halfway to him. No, it doesn't. <laughs> Hey, don't throw glasses in my bar. I'm throwing it at the dick. That's allowed, but I throw the glasses. No. She doesn't even pick up the glass. She just sort of throws air at you. He, uh, Calden, reserves his steel and he's like, I can't drink too much. I can't drink too much. And then goes up the steps, like... Okay. Kaladin, wait! She's kind of pouring air. Yeah, no, you need to stay because we need to work out what we're gonna do about fucking up the people who killed Drakun. Yeah. We cannot do that. Drunk on for asses. And you need to tell me why you're so worried about your mother being alive. No, we need to ask. No, that that's the wrong question. I'm Run really even faster away. <laughs> <laughs> <Run direction. laughs> Lutel, grab him. Lutel, what? Lutel just says, "I'm inclined to agree." Today, let us just let us just cope, and tomorrow we shall. When we are not. As drunk, he shall. I'll, he shall plan our next move. Well, all right. If you're going to be boring about it, why don't you go tell the cleric about everything? Yeah. Perhaps I shall. Um, if you're going, uh, else I will go with you. I'm only happy. Just make sure you don't tell Titus I'm here because I cannot be bothered to deal with that. And she chucks back. And Mako sort of looks, frowns as if something has sort of occurred to her in the drunkenness and look, looks at not. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. 
I know that you know magic that can make people colorful. I've seen you make people colorful and make illusions that are colorful as well because I can do that too. Why don't you just use magic to fix your problem? It doesn't work like that. Yeah, it totally does. You can make people color different colors, right? I can try, but it didn't even work on Robobone. Well, just oh. do that. Jeez. So she's looking at the at Lutel like I'm waiting <laughs> for you. <laughs> um. So yeah, sure. So uh, yeah, not when you try it. Um, does not believe that her magic can make her change color. No. Well, no. Then, then then it doesn't work. The spell doesn't actually even fire. Um, you're too drunk. Yeah, she's too drunk. Told you it didn't work. No, oh, I thought um, that was going to be easy. After after like maybe like three minutes, Calvin comes back downstairs. <laughs> All okay. run, yeah. Yay! Yay! Wait, hang on. Why have you got a gun? <laughs> 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 That's the worst thing to say when someone come back. Cal Khaled is like, you know too much. <laughs> I don't have a gun. Yeah, I have, why don't you I have, have a gun? You I always have, have a gun. I usually do. Where's your gun? Now I Did you leave my it at this top? No, it is in my room. Oh. Can I try firing it again? That would be rude. No. Cool. Can I learn how to shoot your gun? Please. No, you cannot shoot my gun. Dracon! Oh, Dracon, if he was here, he would tell you that to let me shoot your gun. Yeah! If Dracon were here, he'd be telling us to get more drunk. Probably. He sits, he sits down. Ah, character. Uh, Derek, what, if Dracon were here, what would he be saying? Uh, no, no, we'll never know. Don't tell him. Don't tell him. We'll never know. Don't tell him because he's dead. <laughs> he can't do so, he's yeah, rolling well, his, he's rolling in his grave right now. <laughs> just just so shoving salt in the wounds. We're, like, we're, we're, this, like... yeah. No no one is no one is dedicated to the defense of the no, town. Wait, no one Kaladin. is telling the priests like <laughs> No, wait, Kaladin, I, I have a I, I remember I need to bother you about something. Uh, she's going to wait on the hotel to go see the priest. You shall be back? We tell Major not to drink too much. Sure. That makes sense. I I grab this is a this is a Chris thing. Um, so I grab the, uh, the her guitar or whatever. Sure. Since she's not you know using it, I know one song. You will listen to it. She sort of slaps. <laughs> she sort of slams a fist on the bar and says, "What if I don't, huh?" Well, I'm playing it anyways. Well, and I guess I'll listen to it. Well, and if I say. I really knew you well, what would your answer be? You were here today. Ooh, here today. And if I knew you well, you'd probably laugh and say we were worlds apart. You were here today. Cause you're in my song Not claps furiously Omeko starts crying and throws the bottle at Gallard Fuck and then, you! <laughs> well, reflex save. You don't. You don't need to. I. I know. I just. Like, she. She. She, tur she turns away. Um, 
her shoulders um sort of shuddering and she's like fuck you kaladin <laughs> there was a thing i wanted to she burps ask you about what is it you said you 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 talk you said we'd talk about apparent you you fucked up <laughs> well, I don't think you fucked up. I think you did good. No, I... I fucked up. More than you could ever know. Then perhaps you... You can tell us. Are you planning on fixing You're it? You're gone! I thought you left. Oh, I didn't... I mean, since since she since she left, but maybe Lutel lingered for the song. Oh, I think I might. Have, I I think I did already leave then. Yeah. Oh, okay. All that. <laughs> well, I wasn't sure if I was there for the song, it's and I up forgot. to you, my friend. It's your yeah. character. I probably would have already left just because okay. <laughs> it feels like taking care of some business would help. By the way, all of my song cameos had to be in every one of my games because I'm a terrible person. <laughs> you have a talent and you enjoy using that talent. Oh my god, you're a That's terrible evil. person. Yes. Yeah, it's funny. I and, like that song. And, and immediately, too. what's that? GMing is my talent and I have to have it in all my games because I run all my games. Oh yeah, that's right. I guess I'm bad <laughs> too. Oh no. I'm bad. Oh man. man. <laughs> Nut is stands up and she's walking across the bar. She's being very delicate about and she pulls. She, As she, person she stands in front of Khaled. So, how did you fuck up? What even <sighs> is that? Yeah, but you fucked up. I. I. I have not been truthful oh. with you, as you can tell. I'm not a very truthful person. Everyone has their secrets. I don't even know mine. <laughs> <sighs> Mako, um, uh, by this point, it has sort of drunk a cold glass of cold water and sort of uh, walked into the kitchen. Still sh slight slightly shuddering. So you guys are alone at the bar at this point. You you know my. I can assume you know my stain of humans, like whis like on the cusp of whispering, like saying. I mean, humans aren't all that bad, but sure. I come from a. I come from a dog. Figuratively and literally. Not sits down on the bar, she's cross legged. Yeah, well, some shit will be outside because he doesn't think that he's concerned or is or is uh well, sure. Sure. is part of this revelation, so he's going to, to be outside waiting for you to I think, well, actually, I think at this point, you and Lutella are, are walking back through, or walking through yeah. Sandpoint towards uh, Father yeah. Xantis's. I was going to do this conversation, and, and then, if it's all right, we'll have a break, and then we'll do your conversation afterwards, if that's okay. Oh, all right. yeah. Cool. So, sorry, Kaladin. Um, <clears throat> no, go on. I, I am f from the Darklands. Have you heard of it? What do I need to roll for that? Knowledge Dungeoneering. I got a 22. Uh, yeah, you've heard of the Darklands. Um, so, main association for gnomes in general is that there is a race of gnomes that live in the Darklands, uh, known as the Svirth Nebelin. Um, How does it work now? Uh, which actually um, is something that might be fairly close to mind uh, for not currently. 
um, because they, as the deep gnomes, um, they are a race of grey gnomes that s- almost seem to have come out of the other side of the bleaching, so much so that gnomes are uncertain as to whether or not they're even, like, related. They just, whether or not they look the same um, and just happen to be depressive. Um, but uh, it might be something that not is thinking about, like, rumours and sort of mysteries about their existence and so forth. Um, but there are other things. So, um, the Darklands is kind of, it is Galarian's Underdark, basically. Um, it is fairly different to, like, in specific to the Underdark. Um, but it, it, that if you think of it like that, it's not, not sort of... Um, not far wrong. Um, it's an immense series of caverns, vaults, and passages under the surface of Galarian, like the Underdark. Um, there are various entrances to the Darklands throughout the world. Um, it's fairly uncommon to, to travel into, um, and it's split into three sort of uh, layers. Uh, again, a bit like the, a bit like the, a bit like the Underdark. Um, Narvoth, the wilderness. Um, Sekamina. Um, the the sort of warren of tunnels, and then all of um, uh, a, a almost mythical uh, deep area of the Darklands that's said to have like ancient vaults and alien beings and so forth within. So he's basically saying he lives on he 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 he, he is he comes from he's an alien. He comes from no, he comes from a, a very a very dangerous, almost mythical underworld. Not kind of not a little bit. I've heard story. It, it's almost like a Grecian saying that he he uh, used to live in in uh, the Elysian fields or Hades. Mm-hmm. They're all lies, all of them. They never try to tell the truth in the dark land because you cannot handle the truth. Mm. You're not there. I know. <laughs> I. So you're from underground? Yes. I lived there most of my life. So, what is that to do with you fucking up? Where you come from does not matter to me. Well, where I come from matters to a lot of people. My... (sighs) You heard what I said. What's... Being I worship. Out of character, I cannot remember. It's a s- sexy run. All right. I love that pronunciation of it. <laughs> it, it it's not how it's pronounced. It's sexy run. It's sexy run, but I just say sexy run because it's funny. It is. It's just sexy. Sexy run. <laughs> no, because Ron. because of me. Yeah, <laughs> yeah man. <laughs> sexy run. <laughs> but it's canon now. That's that's how it's it, it is now. canon. Okay, now nobody can say it any different, yeah, or no, he will it's... smite you. He'll anti smite you. Um, he will smite you sexily. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> Six iron, master of the golf course. <laughs> Sexy. <laughs> oh god. She kind of frowned a little bit. I don't really know that god. I'm not really a religious person. Well, us drow, we have a connection to him. We have connection to many different gods. It's based on how. And me telling you this is could end up me executed. But I don't care. Because I'm up here and they don't like coming down or coming up here from this unless it's right above the surface. We don't really leave. Anyways, we have a connection between our gods and us. 
and on the surface I contacted him. Out of my rage and out of my hatred. He answered. He answered my prayer. But doing so has alerted every drow who worships this being that a surface person they don't they most likely will figure out it's me has used or has brought their god to the surface which is unheard of and frankly heretical they don't they don't like to do anything with the surface they hate the surface I don't really like the surface either. <sighs> I need to calm down. Calm down. She kind of grabs his hand if you let her. I don't know much about God. I know about magic and other literary stuff. So, but. If there's anything I can do, I will try to help. There's... We don't know much about each other, but... I'm sure we can be friends, and we can be close, and... I can help. I... Can learn spells that can... Disguise you, and hide you away. Or I can... Cast illusions so that no one can see you. If that helps, tell me I can help. I appreciate it. But I think right now, this, and he points to his hair that he chopped off, will buy me something. Yeah. I think this will buy me time because the nature of my people, they do not like coming to the surface. But if the bad thing is, if they're God or if they have been, if they defiled their God in any way, they'll do anything or they'll at least confront me. So. I think I'm safe for the moment. And... Well... I'm curious. I could try and see if I can find some kind of anti-scrying spell or something. <laughs> can they scry? I, do I don't know much about your people. Can... I... If I can help, I will. I don't know if I can. Some of I'm them sure can. they can. Yeah, some of them can. So, like, uh, um, uh, your your people, whilst um, being considerably smaller than, like, the population of elves, which isn't particularly big on Galarian, um, there are still, like, enough of them that they can be considered a people. So, as such, just demographically speaking, there are bound to be mages, uh, and you know... You know that there are uh, mages of various different talents, uh, and they would probably prize divination in such a paranoid society. Um, anyone who lived long enough and could use use the arts long enough to sort of get an edge would probably be quite prized. Slaves and uh, non-slaves alike. So I have pointedly not talked about that. <laughs> uh, yep, I know. Yeah. Uh, we see things differently, and we. I say we, but I think I'm disconnected from them. But they will most likely eventually find me. I don't know if they'll kill me. It depends how, how their mood works. It. My people are very strange. <sighs> They have a weird way of doing things. You can you can roll a sense motive check if you want. As you roll a sense motive check, 
you were considering that, though. Oh, I you really have said of Um, that's all you get. He just seems kind of calm about when, after he said this whole thing because he seems kind of like he lets stuff off of his chest, kind of. I think I'm better. No more alcohol for me. I would like to ask a favor. What is it? Titus is going to find me pretty soon. We walk through the streets with me on Lutel's shoulders. Word's gonna get to him very soon. I'm surprised he's not here already. If he tries to pick me up or anything, like getting his way, I don't want to be picked up right now. I see. Well, I don't usually do this, but if you're that worried about him finding you, you can stay in my room. It's probably best if I do have a chat with him, but thank you. It's more of He's going to father me, more likely, and I'd rather be seen as an adult right now. I see. Well, I think I must be off. I just dust okay. I will be here, I guess. As you will make it. As Kaladin wanders up the stairs, um, Lutel and Senshi. Um, yep. You guys have been walking through the town. Um, I can we take uh, that break first because yeah. I. I do have to use restroom. I was just going to say, like, you you will have gotten to your destination, whatever it is, and we'll pick up with that conversation after 15 minutes or so. Well, all drops! <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, we've done a lot of combat, so got to do some RP. <laughs> uh, all right, so we'll be back in 15, guys. Be. Listen. All this takes a lot of getting used since to. She's going to feel out of and you do get used to it. After a while. There's three things I'll always miss, though. One. Not having to watch my step all the time. Two. Uh, forget about two. And three. I miss the songs. Folks from Ceylandia knew how to carry a tune. Sure, we've got some songs on the old gramophone, but try and imagine what they sounded like, playing to a room full of fine people, unwinding at the soul regret after a hard day's work. Those were the days.
Wars. Now we're live again. <laughs> uh, and the music. Adam, you uh, hit... Yeah, I'm here. I know. I know. I know. I know. I know. I know. I'm changing the music. I'm changing the music, Derek. Um. Okay. Hello, we're here eating caramel. Actually appropriate. So, uh, Lutel, uh, who would you be telling? Who are you going to go to, do you think? I imagine the priest... Uh, yeah, who was it that we were talking to? I mean, Xanthus, yeah. So you, yeah, Father, you, probably Father Xanthus. Yeah, so uh, you, you, you spoke to a number of... There were a number of concerned individuals. Um, the sheriff is still out of town, based on his time frame. He should be on his way back from Magnamar now with reinforcements, theoretically. Um, the other people you spoke to at the meeting uh, were Shalalu uh, and Asana, but she may or may not even be in town. She might be out in the wilderness again for all, like, you don't know where she would be. Um, the two other in individuals that you would have, a, having stayed here now for a couple of days, you would have a rough idea of where they would be, is Father Xantus, who you have spoken to about the various uh, scrolls as well, and sort of spoken to him on a couple of other occasions. Uh, the other person that was there was, uh, well, no, so two other individuals that were there. Um, so Jasper Kulvaski, um, who uh, would be at the Mercantile League, um, and uh, the mayor, Mayor Kendra Deverin. Um, who is, you know, nominally in charge, actually. She's not just nominally, she, she is actually in charge. Um, but, uh, uh, yeah, so th th those are the three individuals that you might want to sort of tell about this. Uh, but... Probably the mayor would be the first person. Okay. Um, so... Yeah, Sanchi is just going to follow Lutel because sure. Sanchi doesn't know the, the, the design of the city, is he? Yep, no, that makes sense. Um, you're, you're, you are not uh, a native of this place. Um, so, uh, the mayor might be in a couple of different places. Um, she might be over at Deverin Manor, which is over here. Fuck. <laughs> um, That's far. But it's midday, so she's uh, a bit after midday. So, it's less likely that she'd be there as the town hall uh, is where her offices are, which is over here, uh, opposite the jail. Which Sorry, you... a, a town, and then you cut out? Hall. All right. Um, uh, she, she's, like, if you're going to find her anywhere, like, in one place, uh, she's going to be there. She's often also in the various markets or doing business with various folks uh, or sort of walking around and uh, just generally acting like a mayor, you know, uh, glad handing as a politician making sure the various businesses are doing well um uh sort of uh wandering the wandering the town um generally doing her job um she is she is a relatively sort of she's known to be and respected as a relatively sort of competent um person uh she uh um um mm, Lutel could roll, uh, well, I don't know. Do you have knowledge local? Actually, do you have knowledge and ability? I have knowledge and ability. Okay, you could roll an ability check if you wanted to. So, um, as you're sort of walking to, to the mayor, um, uh, you recall the things that you know about um, the Deverin family, uh, because uh, they are, they've traditionally held leadership roles in some point, but they are also um, a noble house from Magnamar, um, House Deverin. Um, uh, so you, you would know a bit about them. Um, they, uh, have, um, had nominal control of the Mercantile League in Sandpoint for 23 years. Um, uh, and the Deverin family have sort of, uh, it, it is an elected position amongst mm -hmm. the folk of the town. Um, uh, at least the folk of the town that are sponsored by one or other of the houses so mostly the business folk are the people who get a vote in terms of who who the mayor is um but the deverins have been consistently voted for the last 20 23 years uh mayoral candidates their their candidates have gone in um uh, amos deverin was the town's first mayor uh, his son, Fenchus Deverin, was the second. Um, both, actually, uh, now that you think about it, um, the 
the reason you might have heard about this is uh, it's a tall tale that gets told in bars a lot um, uh, in Magnamar. Uh, the house is sort of joked about being uh, not necessarily cursed as such, but just sort of kind of unlucky um, because both uh, Amos and Fenchus, the sort of heads of the house nominally, have died in unfortunate accidents. They've, they've tripped and fell on their own shears. Um, or more specifically, Amos was trampled by a runaway horse on Festival Street, um, and Ouch. Fenchus was killed by a snake bite whilst on a boar hunt. Oh. Um, the, none of the, their deaths have been ever ruled anything as suspicious or anything like that, but they, they're a bit of a joke. Um, in, in, in sort of noble noble circles and in the circles of the sort of people that uh, Lutel might have spoken to in his quest to find information um, in, in Magnamar about other topics. Like, it's the sort of thing that would come up in casual conversation if, you, if you're talking about Sandpoint at all. Um, you also know that um, she, like, like the various other members of the Devon family, uh, won the, the mayoral candidate, candidacy uh, by a landslide. Um, they they all did, um, uh, and uh, the scuttlebutt rumor uh, about her for a while was that um, uh, someone that she was nominated by and her political advisor uh, was also supposedly in secret potentially her lover, um, but he was murdered by the chopper, the serial murderer that hit mm. Sandpoint five years ago. I remember um, that one well enough. Yeah. Um, so since then, she seems to have become almost the model politician. She's just uh, been very focused on her job. Um, but yeah, uh, so uh, you only briefly met her. You've met her once and you briefly heard her speak and saw her at the festival as well. Um, but you haven't really had much direct contact with her. In the time you've been here, uh, but yeah. So when you get to the town hall itself, uh, the two of you, uh, when you, you walk past the markets, you walk up the street. Um, the, yes. uh, the general store is doing good business. Lutel, when you walk past, but you don't see, um, you see Ven, but you don't see she you don't see Shayless, um, uh in the general store, and he doesn't he doesn't give you a glance. He's he's like serving a customer at that point. Um, well, Senshi would have tell Lutel while they were walking, he's going to say, I hope you don't mind me coming with you. It's not an issue. You may need to be informed about these things as well. Uh, well, at the same time, I think me being around a Mako at the moment isn't the best idea. I am also inclined to agree with that. Hmm. Uh, it looks like the academy has opened up again. Um, the the various older children that are being... Uh, it was obviously still functioning as an orphanage, but the school seems to have opened up again, so you can hear um, the, the, the shouts and screams of children running around the indoor playground, so the indoor, indoor quadrangle in the building uh, as you walk past uh, that. Um, uh, you can see um, Chask is sitting outside uh, his usual spot uh, outside the Curious Goblin. Um, uh, he looks, in, as it indicates by the namesake, he looks curiously uh, at Senshi and Lutel, um, but because it's only the two of you, like he doesn't, he, he doesn't immediately assume, oh my god, Dracun's dead or anything. He just looks at you and sort of nods to Lutel, um, like realizing that you're back. Um, Chasks the... Uh, can you remember Chas? I do not. Okay. The one that asked uh, Urat if he was a reader. Yeah, he he owns a he owns a bookshop, um, and he uh, uh, helped um, identify some magical scrolls and items. Uh, but yeah, uh, you spoke to him after the catacombs. Um, you also go past uh, the savories. Um, uh, which is also open and doing a busy trade. Alma uh, at her usual position behind the counter, sort of serving uh, the freshly baked goods uh, to the various fishermen that are coming uh, in on their lunch breaks. Um, uh, so the area smells of bread and fish 
um, predominantly, but again, they're very busy, so they're not... um... This stone looked lively and quite comfortable and peaceful. Hmm. Peaceful is, I guess, whether it is peaceful or not depends on the day. Yeah, well, uh, to, to Lutel's train of thought, it's probably funny that uh, he mentions that because uh, you you recall that Alma Avertin is the person is the mother of Casp Avertin, the person who was linked to the mayor five years ago uh, romantically, and the person who was murdered by the chopper, amongst <laughs> others. Hmm. With, with your style of clothes, you look out of place. I guess you're not from here. As a mercenary, it is important to make a, a uh, how do you say it? Is, make an impression. Fair enough. And then you're uh, walking up towards the town hall. Um, so. Uh, You've seen the garrison before, but the the town hall is a two-story building. Um, uh, it has a meeting hall on the bottom hall, uh, on the bottom floor, uh, majority of the ground floor, um, consists of a meeting hall large enough to sort of seat most of Sandpoint's adults. Um, although uh, most of them aren't very well attended, um, uh, they tend to the business of the town tends to like. Um, of deciding the domestic politics of the town tends to happen in the Mercantile League building rather than the town hall uh, unless it's something that affects everybody rather than just businesses Um, in which case that's the point where they call like a a whole town hall Um, but it is large enough to to fit most of the population so it's quite a big sort of building Um, and you know that there are there is an upper floor um, with offices and storerooms that you've seen and there is also a vault um beneath the town hall that serves as a sort of uh impromptu town bank i think there was some there was a bit of discussion again after you came out of the catacombs uh, whether or not you were going to bank uh some of the money somewhere this is where you would do it in sandpoint um there ha- there is no actual town bank uh the the plans to build a proper bank have been stalled for various reasons since the town was founded partially because i think uh i'm just going to check this uh yeah so there is a there is a temple of abadar um in the multi-faith cathedral but because of sandpoint's sort of uh focus on um all five gods together um as a sort of multi-faith uh effort uh, the faith of abadar isn't as strong in Sandpoint as it is in Magnamar and indeed as it is in places like Taldor, for instance, um, to the to the mm. east of Verizia. It's it's uh, so the town's never really had the same it, it's a it's a mercantile town, but it's never had quite the same emphasis on um laws, regulations and finance specifically. It's more of a sort of wheeling, dealing, small trading town. Uh, that's that's how people think of themselves here. Um, certainly, you'll have encountered that sort of attitude when you've when you've met some of the folks. They they think of themselves as sort of um, rural traders, which is partially why Arastil uh, is just as popular, if not more so, than than Abadar. Um, but yeah, so um, the mayor has an office here, um, uh, which is signposted in the building, uh, and. Uh, there's she doesn't have a secretary um she she doesn't really have it is literally an office it's not a uh like a collection of offices particularly mm-hmm. she doesn't really stand on ceremony so um, when <laughs> well you... since she is going to motion to uh, lutel and say after you but would knock on the door sure um there's just a plaque on the door wooden n- not particularly fancy just says mad everin um and uh, a voice inside says oh, come in but I would, would enter. Uh, Senshi will follow. Uh, so you guys see this lady? Mm, Senshi, it uh, is add a bit on the, on the thing of the door. 
Uh, sorry. Uh, so we have returned because of his height. Senshi, it is add on the oh, right. Okay. Yes, I thing see. of the door. Right. Um, she raises an eyebrow at that and then looks at Lutel and says, "Ah, good. Um, I hope." Sort of gestures for you to both to sit down. Well, Lutel sits down. Yeah, since she would bow in appreciation, then sit down. I sense. Lutel definitely looks a bit serious right now, so. <laughs> she she looks appropriately serious herself and says, "I sense that you have a a mixture of um sorry different accent. Right? I sense that you have a mixture of good and bad." news to tell me well go ahead the bad news first sure Rakun, he did not make it <sighs> she looks down for a moment puts down her pen damn he, di he died protecting this town i'm sure he died well he was a good man damn that's that is that is terrible news for this to have claimed for this to have claimed him i i hoped that uh i hope that he would settle here uh, he's been an asset to the town for the last six months or so and he was a good person even if he was you know dracon do you like that or how do you find yeah well that isn't that isn't good news at all. I hope that's the worst of it. That is the worst of it. The good news is that we managed to believe put a stop to whatever plan the he starts to snap his fingers, not able to quite remember the the other Asmar's name. Oh Nualia. Uh Nualia. No. We were able to put a stop to her so plans. It, it was the, the the child of Tobin then. She could not see a reason. We had to put her down. I see. Um, did don't, did you work out why she was doing this? Something about how she was treated after. So petty revenge then? Mm, not quite. There was something involving a child that she would have had child I'm mean, not too clear on the details myself there were always rumors about her and the boy that she went off with that Tobin disapproved of but I didn't think things had gotten so far along between them that they'd had no. uh, well that would I mean that would complicate matters um I she was uh I think her father her father disciplined her um, not in a particularly unreasonable way, but if she was with child and keeping it secret, hmm, I can see see ways how that might have caused resentment. And if if I presume this child didn't survive, something happened to. That the child did not make it, that the child did... I, she had scars on her abdomen. Some sort of surgical procedure. <sighs> or if she was praying to Lamashtu, her child must have turned out into abomination. I'm not entirely sure if she started praying to Lamashtu before or after it happened. We may never know. Regardless, um, you say you've you have killed her. Then she didn't give you a choice. She did not give us a choice. I see. Well, we were able to kill the leader of the goblins there. Oh, I see. The, the king of their their king or hero. That would be. She, uh, she yes. sort of flicks through a couple of papers. Rip Nugget, I think. Sounds, that sounds correct. Okay. 
Okay. Uh, we there was a, we a... more. There were more people there. Our character, I can't quite remember who it was. Like, what was it like a bugbear? So there was a a, a, a mercenary called Auric Van Kaskakin, some sort yeah. of mage that you never encountered that went invisible and seemed to escape, um, and uh, the bugbear was the um, murderer and bandit Brothasmus. There was a bandit Grathas Grath. No, no, it was, it was hard to understand him. Oh, okay. We tell out of care, we tell in character sure, probably sure. didn't get much of his name before the combat. Sorry. Can, can you describe him? Mm. And you did say he was a bugbear, yeah. Sure. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. Just. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Space so. out a second. Uh. Oh, very I large, see. large, hairy. Believe he's a bugbear. Ah, Brothasmus. That is it. Oh, well, if you killed him, then Shalelu will be pleased. Hmm. Did you kill him? Uh, he was not able to. That was the... Oh. He had infernal help. Infernal he's... help? He's plotting canines. Can canines? That was the... Some... Some... Demon dogs or something? Something like that, yes. Oh. They had some. Oh gosh. Mind if, mind tampering magic. Oh, sounds terrifying. Some fear, fear magic. Oh, literally terrifying. Mm -hmm. I see. Dracoon was the only one who was not affected by it. I see. So he stayed behind and protect you people. He kept them from giving chase. Was it? He died in a honorable way. Hmm. You know, it's, it's funny. He... <sighs> he told me that he, if it came to it, he would be sure to... Uh, hold, hold off any enemies to let us escape. So, it's true to his word. She nods, looking a combination of sad and somewhat somber. Uh, but regardless, he. I don't suppose was... he killed the demon dogs afterwards, did you? Kaladin was the last to be in that room, besides Dracul. Still, I, uh, Brothasmus individually hasn't given us, hasn't given the town directly much problem. So, was he in hock to Noalia or something? Was was she leading them or? She was dead b before we met him. Hmm. Okay, I, I guess what I'm asking is, in your assessment, uh, Sir Fantasar, was there were there accomplices with each other? Well, I mean that, and more specifically, does a threat still exist to the town? It is possible. The goblins are. I'm not sure about them, but. Uh, the... Whatever plan they were doing about Lamash to... I believe the ritual failed, but they may... I'm not sure if they... If uh, Nualia was the only one capable of doing the ritual. But... Ritual? I, she was doing something with the remains of her father. Yeah. Oh, God. That was why they stole them, then. It was it was a ritual. You confirmed that. Okay, but it's unclear if the ritual finished. I see. So, whilst I'm not too worried about the goblins either, um, 
in our experience, in Shalelu's experience, and she's longer lived than I am, when they lose a leader, they tend to scatter, break apart, and join the other tribes in the region, or die of exposure. Although I could do with asking a rat. She sort of looks around like... He... I, did I, I think that he decided to uh, cut his losses, and oh. he bailed. Hmm. I did see a goblin leaving with a horse. With a horse? That probably was him. We met a horse that he seemed to take a liking to. It had stomped a few goblins. Oh, I thought goblins didn't like... Well, okay. Maybe you want to chase the remaining of the goblin force that you fought. She looks well, that I am not sure. She looks hopeful. Oh, maybe. Though, so, that, that, that sounds more like him. I, ca I can't see him just completely bailing. Without a good reason, at least. Mm. Uh, Knowing goblin, he must have something planned. But, uh... Mm. Well... I'm less concerned about them and more... Even if you killed Nualia, if we don't know who was leading this group, well... Crotreth was made against them. Absolutely, was... absolutely. I, I, I can't ask... I'm, I'm not going to ask you to do more, Lutal. I'm just... I'm just worried. Um, well, the Sheriff will be back in a couple of days. Um, uh, should be... Uh, should be returning with um, more guards, so... Hopefully, whatever it is, uh, if it was, if there was something awoken within the ruins, then hopefully they don't, they stay there and they don't bother the town. Um, and, we or, should stay on our guard. Oh, absolutely. Um, that's that's why we're getting more guards. But um, uh, I've I've sent word for household. We've got some household guards with House Devon as well. You know, mm. uh, mercenaries like yourself. Uh, they'll be arriving. Right. not. Um, I'm planning on uh, maybe using some of the rock from the old ruin, maybe building a wall near some of the other bridges, like the northern one. We need to make Sandpoint a bit more defensible, I think. It could not hurt. She nods. Well, um, thank you for telling me. Uh, is there anything else that you need to tell me? Out of character, let me think. Is there anything else sure. I need to tell her? No problem. I think that's it? I can't think of many other things, like, directly salient to her role that you need to tell her. But, if you guys can think of something. I cannot think of... I cannot think of anything else. Okay. Well, I think we promised you a hundred gold. The rest of the group is at Emeko's bar. I see. Did everybody else come back okay? You're not going to tell me that you lost Emeko as well. Oh no, she well, came she made back it. all right. Yeah. Which reminds me, um, not to be rude about this, since you're with Lutel, I assume you aided them in some fashion. Uh, who, who are you, sir? I... I'm Senshi Kurada. I was sent by Amiko family from the east to take news on them. Oh, I but see. Um... I arrived uh, too late for what happened to the group. Ah. We met him on our way out. Ah, oh, I see. I think Gavin did mention something. Uh, Gavin sent me to... Oh, he'll take it hard. The news was already said to him. Oh, I need to tell Jasper as well. And Rinshin. <sighs> I'll, um... And I believe there was a terror in town that he was a yeah, bit fond of. Yeah, Rinshin, Pavali. They were good mm. friends from what I remember. I'll I'll inform Father Xantus. Will did you bring his body back? Half character, did we? No. I don't think we Kaladin burned it with gunpowder, but to try and deny the fiends it, but other than that, no, it's still in the ruin as far as you know. Kaladin 
I refer to his judgment, but he believed there would be best to cremate it and to keep the demons from getting it. She sort of pinches the bridge of her nose and sighs. <sighs> okay, well... He has recovered his family weapon. Oh, well, I... I, I hmm... I'll ask Gavin when I, when he's when I get a chance uh, and I can uh, or maybe Jasper or Shalilu even. Does he have uh, any family? Uh, as I understand it, yes. Um, Jasper mentioned that he spoke of a family uh, in Yanderhof, the Dwarven Hold, uh, far to the east of Verizia. Mm. Uh, that was part of the reason he came here in the first place, as I understand it. But they'd know, no, no more than I would. Um, I, I would recommend that you, uh, you ask one of them and see if, if he hasn't already, if he didn't. She catches herself and looks down. If he didn't express any wishes specifically, then I'd suggest you ask one of them and see if, see if he mentioned anything to them with regards to where you might find his family or what he might want to, might have wanted you to do with the weapon. Um, we'll try and I'll ask Father Xantus to hold a service. I'm sure he will be unhappy but willing to accommodate and uh, I'll let you know or it someone know. will yeah, absolutely um, I think as well as she sort of gets the pouch of gold out and puts it in front of you uh, if you're willing so far as our, I'd like to recruit I'd like to uh, take advantage of your services again um at least for the at least for the foreseeable future, with regards to making the town more secure, and also in case whatever was in that ruin does decide to trouble us, do you think you'd be willing to do that? Of course. Good. Uh, tell Kaladin when you see him to step along by as well, um, and I'll pay him, and uh, the same offers open to him. You can let him know. I shall. Thank you for your time. No, no, thank you for your efforts on behalf of the town. And she sort of stands up, offers a hand. Uta would stand up and shake her hand. Nods. No. Then she looks at no. Senshi and says, uh, yeah. If you were sent by uh, Mako's family, uh, from what little I know from talking to her, I'd imagine she's... Uh, Wasn't not... please. No. Do you know of no, the Senshi death? will stand up and... Are you aware of the death of her father? I, I only got announced by herself when I found her. Mm. Unfortunately, and I have to apologize for this if you if you are a representative of the Kaijutsu family. She sort of looks at you. Mm, I was just sent to get some news from them. I see. Well, um... I don't know if you're returning across the sea or if you're planning on staying around, but um, uh, on behalf of the town, uh, please, if you get a chance, convey our humblest apologies to uh, members of the Kajitsu family in, in authority in uh, Minkai. We have... We are very sorry that this has happened to uh, Lonjaiku on our watch. Um, We've, as you've heard, we've avenged the perpetrators, but uh, we've we've avenged him and uh, taken down uh, the perpetrators. Uh, one of which has been sent to Magnamar to be executed. But um, yeah, we can. I can only convey our humblest apologies. And uh, if you are staying in town, and if a Mako doesn't offer you a berth, um, same. Uh, not to be callous, but it sounds like we'll need good sword hands. So, same offer as applies to Lutel and Kaladin. Uh, 100 gold a week um, to retain your I services. I do not need the money, Alpha. Okay, well. I saw some children when I was walking with Lutel, and if I can make this place a safer for those children to be raised in, I would do it gladly. All right. Slow down. You're making me look a bit expensive in comparison. 
she the Del says with a half smile. Yeah, she she smirks at that a little bit as well. Says, "Well, uh, yeah, I'm not gonna look a gift going horse to smile in the mouth." <laughs> um, you, uh, well, uh, you'll get on with Jasper then. Uh, uh, good. Okay. Well, welcome, welcome aboard then. Senshi, was it? Yes. Okay. Uh, are you a sir? Dude, is there a title I should call you by? Uh, you can only call me Senshi. I do not have a real title. All right. Good. Uh, well, at least not titles how they work like in English. <laughs> Sorry, that's out of character. She she uh, sits back down, uh, looks at you all. Uh, unless there's anything else, I should get back to the paperwork. I'll have messages sent out to the father and uh, Sir Jasper. Thank you very much for your time. Not and uh, Luther would uh, give a slight bow and leave. Yeah. Mm, since she's going to give a, a more proper bow and okay. follow uh, Luther after that. Smirks again a little bit. But nods. Appreciate that. Okay. Um... Look at this guy making, making me look bad. <laughs> like, oh yeah, I, I'll do the same work as this guy, just not, don't, you don't even have to pay me. <laughs> I'm joking. It's fine. Uh, <laughs> well, yeah. So you you, you uh, walk out into the sunlight uh, together. Yeah. <sighs> oh. I will uh, try to convince Omeko to let you have a room at the tavern. Well, I can understand her resentment. I um, I. Uh... Overheard some talking about well, how, how our family view our, our father. And... I hope you take no offense, but the father no, was a grumpy old man who did not know when to stay silent. I personally am not grieving for him, but she is. So, uh, take that time. Family you is family. And... I didn't really grew up. Out of character, before. I'm pretty sure if the culture was anything similar, that would have been reason enough for you to cut Lutel down, given your, given like, was uh, like, I don't know, like your daimyo or something. I don't know, but uh, in character, let's, let's just keep going. <laughs> yeah, like honestly, like whilst that does exist and stuff like that, like um, Tian's culture, it, it is discussed a little bit in the various companions and so forth, and it is fairly similar to things like japan like samurai uh, uh, op, uh, operate under a code of honor that is fairly similar i to think Bushido it's a like mix that. of uh japan and chinese it, it honestly uh it's <laughs> i've talked about this with some people um it suffers a little bit from the same thing that D and D suffers a little bit from, um, which is that the, uh, that like like other areas of Galarian are not X country uh, or X fantasy version. Uh, the Tian is the X Asiatic countries sort mm. of rolled mm. together. So honestly, um, I I know like some things that I've sort of like had for the kaijutsus specifically based on like stuff like jade yeah, yeah dude i'm not like holding anything against you i'm no, just no, saying no, like no, no. Just the thing to... i just said would probably be enough for you to want to kill me now but let's get yeah. keep well let's keep going yeah so w with with regards to that and stuff like um Derek, i'm cool with whatever your interpretation of yeah, your honor but, code or whatever but, it is like uh, I, i'm not but, gonna be like you must murder uh, him now yeah but <laughs> at the same time uh they're not in the east and the rule doesn't apply the same way, and sure. the west than the east. So. Uh, yeah, ab absolutely. And uh, you're sworn to follow local laws and customs where you yeah. can. So, um, yeah, no, and, absolutely. Uh, Mur murdering Lutel here would be very much uh, not the done thing. And they already <laughs> suffer a loss. So. Yeah, cool. So uh, yeah. the upshot of this is Lutel, you don't get murdered. Congrats. Yeah. yeah and since she's <laughs> going to say, uh, well, I don't blame. Well. Yes, how she... I didn't get murdered. Yes, <laughs> I don't blame how she's acting with me. Uh, I had to to pass time with less. Oh, 
less polite person. Well, we shall see if she warms up to you at all. Mm. Again, I can put a good word in for you, but she yeah. doesn't. She doesn't look too pleased of, well, of what I am in general with my blood. Hmm. With all the shrugs, come. We should just be getting back before they get alcohol, alcohol poisoning or something. <sighs> Mm, they must be knocked out at the moment. I'm on the drink. Just cut to the bar. They're just all just like <laughs> completely out cold. Yeah. So uh, you guys uh, don't take too long to get back. This is probably around about the point the Kaladin's gone up to bed. Um, uh, hmm. Mako likewise uh, would have staggered up the stairs, um, passing not another bottle as she does so. Bethana's come back out, having dried her eyes, and is manning, manning the bar, um, and uh, has probably judiciously locked up. Uh, they're not going to do any trade today. Omeko's too mm. fucked up, so they're just going. Also, I just realized Dracon is still on this map. <laughs> uh, His spirit is watching us judgingly. Oh, no. no, not judgingly, but judgingly. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, so. Not has got like a massive plate of food in front of her and she's just slowly eating okay, it with Okay, her. like, okay, you, for you, drinking alcohol will make you hungry. Okay. Uh, no, she, she's just, she knows she's... Also, I'm sorry if you can hear a dog right now, up, so I have no control over that. It's okay. Well, yeah, well, uh, since she would get closer to the counter and is going to say, uh, how much is it for a room? Uh, Bethana looks at you. Piercing. He's with us. Just get him in the room. Looks at no and says, I was about to fucking do that. God. Don't fucking fucking me. I'll fucking... Mm. Young lady, I know more slurs than you do. <laughs> <laughs> I know you're older than you appear. Uh, sweet chestnut, but so am I. And I already look damn old, so don't fuck with me. <laughs> the beauty of being a gnome, I guess. She shrugs. She, sh she shrugs right back at you and says, and it's the beauty of being a halfling as well. We get old and we look old. Bloody gnomes. Anyway, <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, before she staggered off to the bath, uh, Miss Kaijutsu actually said that you could have a room and that she wasn't going to charge you. Um, but she... I'm, I'm willing to pay. Yeah, she told me to refuse you when you said that. Uh, and uh, she also told me uh, that uh, it's your own room. Uh, it's not your room for the prosecution of, uh, I think, to quote her, your duty or whatever the fuck he thinks he's doing. It's your room, and uh, you're to like it. So I, I suggest that you do that. Fair enough, lady. Grabs a key and puts it in front of you. Hmm. He's going to take the key, huh? Uh, she serves nuts and more ribs. Nuts just very carefully. She's not being, like, messy. She's just eating... Senshi. Mm -hmm. yes. You come from quite some distance, I gather. Yeah, I've been on the sea for a couple of weeks before arriving. Hmm. And she looks back to Corpus and is like, why? Just, why this one? Aren't we supposed to be mad at him? Or them? What? Oh, sorry. I went, I, went, I went up to the... Sorry. No, no, no. I'm talking to Corpus. Oh. 
uh, oh, okay. Cor- I was like, wait a minute. Corpus, why? drunk off his absolute tits on uh, all of the alcohol that he's been drinking, rolls over playfully and uh, bears his belly and is clearly not thinking about anything you're saying right now. Fuck that, you're supposed to be eating as well. Grabs a rib with its tiny little paws and starts eating the gigantic rib. Still bearing his belly. Gives him a belly rubs and just sort of like stares at Senshi. I don't know what it is about you, but for some reason Corpus likes you and is confused by you, but stay away from him. I... Stay away from my ferret or else I will... She waves her hand. I don't know. Turn you into a goblin. I can do that myself. Uh, not roll a perception check. Oh, I had myself muted because of the dog. That was uh, why. I did wonder if you were watching this silently. Um, when I you, was, but still. When you okay, <laughs> when you feel that vehemence of emotion of protectiveness against um, Corpus, Corpus um, sort of looks at you uh, curiously again, uh, wondering why you're getting so mad on his behalf, and that feeling of curiousness reverberates into you, and uh, <laughs> the tip of one of your fingertips slowly becomes skin colored not stares at it and stares back at senshi like corpus why like this doesn't make sense you don't make sense right now you're drunk off your ass corpus drops the rib uh bears its teeth like and what and, and looks looks at not with an intense look of curiosity and at that point your whole hand becomes flesh colored mm. she picks him up and hugs him he, he <laughs> struggles to escape not understanding why he's being hugged oh, actually... yeah sometimes guys to chuck all a bit huh? don't you chaff I will turn you into a goblin like I said, I can do that myself. She just frowns at him. Well, then I'll turn you into a bright pink goblin. Mm, I don't think I can. I can do it myself. There you go. By the way, before that, I'm really surprised Titus hasn't turned up. Why? Is he busy or? Uh, well, I mean, I haven't had the. Sh- the tavern open, you understand. We've we've locked up, so. Yeah, but I did coming through the town on Lutel's shoulders, grey as all fuck. I'm pretty sure someone would have told him about me. Uh, well, I mean, maybe, but he's busy with that family that you've uh, sorted out for him. By the way, she sort of leans over and says, uh, "You know, f- for all the." Uh, Gosh, I, I I liked the uh, the older Barrett. Uh, God's rest him. Um, nice work there. That's exactly what your uh, Dar needs, really. A uh, woman and some children to keep him busy. What so? Raise the eyebrow. Well, he took me in, so he obviously needed something to keep him busy. Aye, it'll keep him out of trouble as well. Maybe get him doing something, you, you know. Uh, good for a change rather than pissing people off and uh, getting drunk in here and uh, uh, making questionable business deals. Uh, oh yeah, oh yeah. Not come and stares her down a little bit. She shrugs. Don't you stare at me. I, I hear all sorts of things in this bar and we all know what your dar has been doing. But it's good. It's good. She sort of holds up her hands a little placatingly. Yeah, that's fair enough. Also, he still owes that tab, by the way. I'm not paying that. <laughs> she smirks. No, I just don't. Not not saying you should. I'm just just reminding you to remind him, maybe when you see him. Well, when he comes bursting through those doors, probably soon enough. You can tell him yourself. Ugh, fine. But it is a little curious that he hasn't been around. She looks a little I thoughtful. hope he's okay. Probably just drinking at one of the other taverns. Yeah, I saw him trying to go to 
Uh, you did Mar- not. You, no, you didn't. No, you didn't. Mar- nope. You did not see Titus. Yeah. I know where Titus is currently, and you did not see him. I know. Uh, when uh, Senshi arrived in town. Yeah, no, you didn't see him. Hmm. You might have saw someone that you think is Titus, but you, you, you didn't see Titus. I mean, you probably wouldn't know the face of the name. I think just the name. Nope. You, well, you, you might know the name, but, but uh, you yeah. might even have had a description of him. But yeah, I can state 100% categorically, you did not see Titus Scarnetti. Uh. Hmm. That stands up. There's a bit of a stretch. Picks Corpus up and sort of like looks towards the door. Yeah. I think it's best if I find him then, if he's not going to come to me. I mean, like that? He's going to find out sooner or later. No, I mean drunk. <laughs> I'm not that drunk. Yes, I've you have. something to eat. He, uh, hasn't taken an effect out. yet. Yeah. You might want to sleep it off first. G- give him a give it you know give him a few hours. Uh, I'm sure uh, uh, if uh, if he hasn't heard now, he'll have heard by then, and I'm sure he'll come round. We'll open up for the evening anyway. When when Omeko wakes up again, uh, she uh, I know her. I she, she, how she deals with uh, how she deals with grief like this is she just works harder, so we'll be opening up for the evening. I won't be able to stop her, so he'll probably uh, see the tavern open, have heard that you come back, and come in. Fine, but I want to use your alchemy lab. Sure. Uh, you got the run of the place? And she just sort of makes her way down to the other Camilla. Sure. Yeah. So out of character. So is is uh, chestnut color now? Her just hand is hand color. Right? Yeah. With regards to that, by the way, when you when you go down to the alchemy lab, uh, not some um, which I'm going to give you some dancing lights for. Um, you mean I can't check? Because we tell it's still very confused about how that whole thing works. 24. Uh, as the food begins to take effect and you get a little bit more sort of rational, um, you realize the weirdness of what has happened um, uh, with regards to your hand, uh, which is to say um, Corpus's emotions not only seem to be being substituted for your emotions, uh, but also seem to have reversed the effect physiologically, very partially, which is uh, kind of unheard of. Doesn't doesn't happen very often, if at all. Hmm. She's gonna put out parchment everywhere and just start work. Like, Start making theories and such, like <laughs> hypotheses to test later. Um, no, I've got a load of bunch of random shit that I picked up, so I might as well use my uh, my alchemy for something. Okay, so you're you're crafting some alchemical items and uh, so. yeah, she's keeping herself busy basically. Sure. Yeah, so okay. so she's going to look at Betana and he's going to say, oh, "Do you mind if I play some music?" Uh, only if you make only if you wake up the boss. Only if I wake up Ameko. Yeah, that's the boss. Oh. If you, you only mind if you, if you only mind if he, if she gets woken up or on or <laughs> Yes. <laughs> if you wake up Ameko, I will mind. If you do it quietly enough that you don't, then I won't mind. Are we clear? Clear. Yeah. Wonderful. Mm-hmm. Now, can I get you a drink if you're going to sit at my bar and, uh, you know, play music? Some tea. Tea? <sighs> I can see why she's pissed off with you. I get some wine, then. One for me as well. Better. Sure. Yeah, and 
He's going to take uh, from uh, his uh, bag and he's going to start to play it. Sure. With uh, uh, 29. Sure. All I right. still don't know what the hell classy, classy you're playing. <laughs> well, you'll find out. <laughs> yeah. Alright, so I have some Vogel Venom, some Goblin Berry, okay. and whatever else is in here, because I'm guessing it's a working alchemy lab. Uh, so, well... <laughs> Real mix. So with regards to alchemy lab, th there isn't actually an alchemy lab as such uh, in the Rusty Dragon. Um, there is just a basement. Um, that is sort of, uh, Ameko sort of uses it for, uh, any, anything remotely handy. Um, so there's, uh, a load of DIY tools down there. There are barrel hoops and so forth down there. Um, th there are but various... But are there very swirly Olympics? Not really, no. <laughs> um... Ah, then it can't be called a proper lab. No, it, it, it like, um... Uh, a Mako isn't especially alchemical. Like she doesn't have many sort of alchemical skills or anything like that. Um, but there are like workbenches and stuff that you can sort of clear off uh, and use uh, for your own tools and sort of, sort of supplies and so forth. Uh, but the, the Rusty Dragon doesn't specifically have an alchemical lab as such. Uh, that's, that's fair enough. She'll hmm. she'll probably put on the table and sort of like deal with because she's got like a bunch of stuff that she shouldn't probably having on her person mm. okay um mostly the venom the water of lamashtu vials and the goblin berries sure um yeah okay so uh, you you get you get the various sort of uh looted uh our chemical things out um I don't think I have like an alchemy like set. Or... Uh, I think you have a portable kit, maybe. Mm. I don't know if you have it with you. It depends no, on if, if you took it. Sorry, if interested, I I linked the, the well the music that Senshi is playing on his flute and the Discord. Cool. I'll chuck that in streams as well, so people can listen to it. Um, during her play around with stuff, does anything she... explode? <laughs> She's going to, because to... I've got a potion of protection from chaos. Yeah. She's going to get a little saucer out, put a dip of the uh, water of Lamashtu. And then put a dib of the uh, potion of protection from chaos and see what happens. Uh... This can only end well. <laughs> I know, right? Well, it's it's not explosive specifically, like like uh, it's it combusts, but not in a sort of explosive fashion. Um, the the contact of the protection from chaos potion seems to uh, there's a flash of red obturative magic, um, and then. Uh, the waters are the waters and the potion are both sort of consumed there's just sort of a red smear in the saucer i would like to do an arcana check on the red smear sure <laughs> uh, uh just the sort of um detritus of uh a chaotic effect coming into contact with a anti-chaotic barrier is the dust itself chaotic? Um... I don't know, do you have like a litmus test for law versus chaos? <laughs> I mean, that <laughs> definitely exists in this universe, because otherwise they wouldn't be able to make potions of <coughs> protection against law and chaos. Uh, I, 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 is it chaotic? No, no. I would say that it's... Um... I would say that if you wanted to, you could use the dust as an alchemical power component in protection against law spells. 
Oh, I don't need that. Yeah, probably. Mm. Yeah, to increase their caster level, um, and make them. Oh, I don't need longer. that. That's boring. Well, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> We're uh, stealing something. Ah, oh, great. A protection from law potion would be great right now. Um, not go we'll actually cool down Senshi at some point. No. I guess when he's finished playing, then he will stand up and he doesn't know where you went, so he's like, uh. She'll send Corpus after you. Sure. You see a ferret. Oh, well, he's going. Well, he's going to to kneel and give an end to the ferret. The ferret so bites your hand. Complain. Okay, fair enough. And there's, <laughs> and there's stares at you like with a with a very intelligent look on its face that is clearly a look of if you condescend to me again, I will bite your finger off. Sort of. Yeah. Like, <laughs> like the fair signs enough. of warning. Next time you lose a finger. Pretty much, yeah. Um, but he will then sort of like lead you this way. Um, round to the, the cellar steps. Mm. Okay, so I'll pull you over to the cellar. Uh, uh, you called me? Yeah, I have a couple of things that I may require. Someone of lawful, like, things. And she sort of like, she, there's like potions and paper and everything ev everywhere. And what do you need me to do? Stick your hand in this. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, that's will end well. And if I refuse? I don't even gonna know hurt. that he has a lawful alignment. It's not gonna hurt you, it's just... It's dust. <laughs> Can I make a bluff check? Yeah. <laughs> sure. I mean, it isn't gonna hurt him though, you realize. It's not? No, no. Oh, okay. It's not even magically active at the moment. Um, you, you... It may cause a rash. Uh, yeah, maybe. If he if he puts it in if he puts his hand in ungloved it might it might slightly irritate his skin. Oh, a, bit, a bit to... a bit like um you know powder paints. If, if, oh gosh, yeah. If you if you rub too much of them on your skin, like they can sort of like depending on um, you, can, you can have allergic going, reaction to them. Or something he's like. going to dip a finger on it. Okay, you your finger now has red on it. Oh, I was expecting something more fun. Corpus Corpus gives you a look that he, he has uh, given you several times in the past when you have conducted similar experiment, well, like different but sort of similar motive experiments um, uh, without like sort of thinking about exactly what might happen. Uh, it, the look is very much, you need to read more of your books, young lady. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, what's the fun in that corpus? You've got an experiment, you never know. Oh. Hey, I need you to look at these. So, because you're like you're you have sun god, right? You you you're sun god. So, is your god like good? As and she's sort of like got paperwork and she's like writing stuff down as she, she's not even looking at you. Okay, yeah. So so. Uh... <laughs> As you're not looking at him, you, you hear the distinctive sound of a spell being cast, like a divine spell. Um, so there's, there's, there's like a, a feeling of, of light and the sound of a bell. Cast expeditious retreat and get the hell out of there. Uh, <laughs> when, when you're aware of sort of magic happening. Uh, do you look up? Yeah. Okay. Um, there is Senshi, but your size and clearly a gnome standing in front of you. She pauses. Why did you do that? Huh? She cocks an eyebrow and then throws Corpus at him. Corpus 
Yeah, Corpus it's... attack! Bul- bulges his eyes as he's thrown ascension. <laughs> <laughs> like, what? <laughs> just freezes up. Imagine assault, you do that, but assault, he's like immediately uh, on the attack and starts uh, scratching him. Hit, hits Senshi on the side of the head and bounces off. Oh. Um, but but uh, as uh, as he does so, um, uh, not you become aware that this isn't an illusion. Like, they oh my he, God, doesn't, he, he doesn't I flicker through you. an illusion or anything like that. I'm confused. <laughs> oh my god, he was a gnome the whole time! So... Right why are you now a gnome? I and don't know. I, I just touched the thing you told me to do, and now I'm like this. <laughs> oh my god, what the fuck is going on? red powder? Looks back at you! <laughs> <laughs> Dust of gnomification. That isn't what that powder should do. <laughs> yeah, he's lying, and as he said that, he is just smiling. She frowned at him. Right. <laughs> Not what I was asking, but okay. She kind of. There's a moment where she's sort of like staring at you, but turns her head away. She's still staring before she looks at something else. But she's like, her eyes keep going back to you. Yeah, All like, right. uh, uh, he's waiting a bit, and when one minute passed, uh, what he cast the spell, and he returned to his old self. Uh, when when that happens, um, not you can roll a spellcraft check if you're looking at him. Mm. Okay, so it wasn't an illusion. Uh, you see the the twisting uh, sort of almost it's it's not so bad for like like azamar to gnome is a relatively sort of benign painless transformation but it's the sort of twisting shape changing uh effect that happens when someone uses transmutation to physically alter themselves so he he was really a gnome briefly for a minute and now he is uh essentially normally again she kind of frowned a little bit Right. Depend- not... uh, depending on, uh, depending on what I'm turning into, uh, can uh, can have some bad side effect. I can imagine you use actual transmutation. Right. Um. Not what I was asking. I wanted to ask you regarding your god and you really derailed me. This is not what I wanted to know. Mm, well, I wanted to do a, a small joke. Yeah. This is I not the that's... time for jokes. Mm. I am kind of drunk and I am full of food and well, Corpus has been here and you're making joke, me yeah. go back to color. This doesn't make sense. You don't make sense. Full stop. And you are really weird. But not of this. I need to know something. And you're distracting me. So I'm oh, not happy with you. Go on. I have here water from a pool of Lamashtu. Pardon? I have water from a pool of Lamashtu. Where did you get that? Um, underneath some point, but that's not the point. What? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry about it. But yeah, it's underneath sign point. It's probably got to about me. We left about a, a file down there, so it's been like maybe what two days? Uh, a little bit longer than that, actually, because yeah. So I reckon it's full by now, but nonetheless, <laughs> I have two. I have two vials of this. Now, what I want you to... As you know, I have three vials. Ooh. No, I'm not going to drink it. I'm not going to ask you to drink it. I know what the <laughs> shit does. Corpus looks disappointed. I mean, Corpus, sure. I'm not that evil, though. Corpus, um, Corpus looks at you. Are you? Are you really? There's, I'm there's not no, gonna, there's no I, accusation. It's just a question in his eyes. Like... Hmm? I mean, if I wanted him to drink it, I wouldn't have told him what it was beforehand, so... That's why he looks disappointed. Mm. Anyway, what I wanted you to... I wanted to know was, can you dispel this? Can you do anything with this? Can you 
disenchant it? Can you decontaminate it or something like that? Same goes with this, and she pulls out the um, piece of fabric, the fold of fabric that has the amulet in it. If we can discern like the types of magic that Lamashtu uses, then maybe we can actually protect the cat town. Uh... Yeah, so with regards to the former question, Derek, um, let me just send you a message in Discord. Fair enough. Also, if I throw just, uh... grave dust at you, what will happen? Actually, <laughs> never mind. Just throws grave dust at him. Oh, wow. I mean, I get it that I'm level 4. So. Yeah, no, I just wanted to check whether or not you uh, had an archetype. Um, okay, so, um, yeah, see that. Um, uh, you uh. Throw, so you're throwing Grave Dust at, at, at Senshi? Yeah. Okay. Um, Senshi, you get some Grave... You get burnt dead people on you. Congratulations. Is that, like, a gnomish joke or something? Honestly, I wanted to see if it... If contact with you will actually technically sanctify it. Well, it hurt my eyes. <laughs> but, besides that, I'm... No? I mean, you are a god one, so you must have some kind of, like, latent magical energy. You have um, some kind of, like, each... overarching soul, which is really weird. But Each yeah. god spawn are different. You're I'm a god spawn like to me. I same. don't know the difference. I don't know religions, which is why I'm asking you all these questions. So you know, not answering in proper fashion. Answer the questions. So while you're having well, this question I and answer, I can yes, I can clean that water, but I'm I need time. How much time? Do, do you have something like? Do you have some water clock, something like that, for the time? The town has a bell that rings to count the hours. Well, uh, give me until uh, tomorrow morning. Ugh. So I reckon the whole part of it would cost you like a week. Don't don't you don't the sun have like a cleric or? Well, most of the people here are Desna, and unfortunately, I have a feeling that Desna's not going to be able to help too much regarding this, mostly because of Nualia was a god spawn of Desna, so oh. mm, who knows? magic is weird. Full stop. So we never know. Oh, that's a fallen Asimar. Yeah, she kind of she has a no baby sickness, which is quite sad. Oh, that's a interesting way of putting that. <laughs> mm. <laughs> it's the best way of putting it. It's it's a way. Quite sure. a disturbing thought. Well. It is a disturbing thought. What is more disturbing is that we somehow completed a ritual that's probably let Lamash to loose on this mortal realm. So, this, which is why I'm asking you whether you can actually deal with this. Not alone, not really. I wonder what happens if you put a pinky finger in this. Would you mind losing a pinky no. finger? <laughs> no. I... Uh, so at this point, um, Lutel, Kaladin, are you? Uh, is is Kaladin sleeping off the effects? And if is Lutel just sort of like having a meal and then just resting, recuperating, yeah. recovering? I'm rest, resting, recuperating in okay. all the R's. So R and I. Yeah. So so as. Uh, uh, not continues to experiment 
and Senshi either cooperates or doesn't cooperate and possibly mm -hmm. possibly loses a pinky finger and becomes a member of the Yakuza. Um, uh, that's what happens to members of the Yakuza who misbehave. That's that's the joke, yep. yep <laughs> um, uh, we pull away from Sandpoint for a moment as uh, we see floating in the sky Drakkon's soul as it ascends to the afterlife. And... That's where we're going to leave tonight's session. Um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I, I know it's been a bit, it's, it's a roleplay session, so it was always a bit yeah. uneven. Um, we'll do uh, do some more Kaladin and uh, Lutel for sure um, next week. Uh, we'll do but, some more all of well, you next week. And hopefully we will have um, a new player next week. I'm going to send well, out. Uh, and I'm going, I'm going to say, and it's. I think it's the good time that we can actually use the Rise of the Rune Lord text RP channel. Yes. Yes. Actually, that's a very good idea. Yeah. Since we're out of uh, Tisseltown. Yeah, absolutely. So, so feel free to feel free to if you if you want to do some text LP of the uh, of the afternoon or the evening, and uh, I'll try and contribute if you talk to any NPCs. Um, but uh, yeah, so hopefully next week we'll uh, like I say we'll we'll have um, a new player um, to. Uh, maybe join the group um in a different way uh to essentially uh, maybe tie him into the uh to something something that's unfolding um even even as you guys rest and recuperate because whilst uh good warriors may sleep evil does not and the rune lords are on the rise mm. dun, dun, dun. Uh, but for now that's where we're gonna leave it people still watching Thank you for watching and listening. Um, hope you've enjoyed it, uh, as always. Um, and we'll see you next week for some more Rise of the Rune Lords. Bye for now. Bye. Bye.